And we've got transcoding. Fantastic. Yes, hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. It's Friday. How the devil is everybody? I'm just social mediaing. Don't mind me. <clears throat> no idea what the plan for this evening is. Could be interesting. I don't know. It's going to be a choice, I think, between um, playing the lobby a bit or doing some um, higher level stuff on the big tunes. But we'll let uh, we'll let chat decide for now. Right, social mediaing all done. Londis. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? I'm going to log this tune in for now. And then we'll try and decide. <laughs> did you watch the first episode I did? Over on the YouTubes. I'm looking at the Veruca. Veruca me love. <laughs> Roy can hear. I didn't realise this thing had stripes on the side of the legs until I wore it on this tune. Yeah, first episode is, is live. Uh, when did it publish it? Earlier today, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. Not everyone will have seen it. It's They're sort of First day out in uh, Arete and all the rest of it. And on this tune, nicely, I have a Freelancer's Inc. token immediately as well, which is kind of nice. Cry for Carl instead of Strong <laughs> Criff Carl. Yeah. She looks good. For some reason, she she seems to be short again. Don't quite know how that happens, but hey, no matter what tune I make, it's always smaller than Savix. It's a weird thing. One there. And one there. That'll do. What tune are we making today? I'm, I'm not going to make another tune. Um, let's see, out of curiosity, I've got this Mongo's Troll. What's the next one of those? Or is it Garden Only? We'll do a little bit with this one. Hoggermen. No, this is the real I've made the tune tune. This is, there was an episode today over on the YouTubes. Um, one goes Golem, I think, is the next one. Let's grab that. I don't think I can cast it, though. No. Matter Creations to 11 and something else. Oh. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? Loby Alts. I'll tell you what I wouldn't mind is a five slot um, board from probably the temple, somewhere like that. Could be worth nipping down and having a look. What's this someone's buffed me with? Enlarge. No, I don't I don't want um, any carries really. Wanna sort of avoid being carried. I've got the daily for the temple I haven't done yet. I had to go and fit a light fitting for the in-laws. And um, <clears throat> I was replacing a fluorescent 
you know, one of the strip lights or whatever you call them where you come from. And <laughs> whenever they built the house and put that in, 20 odd years ago, they did all the, there's four switches in the kitchen for the lights, one's for an external light, one's for the main light, and then on the other side of the wall there's two lights that do the two lights in the kitchen. Um, and they they did all the um, all the logic termination in <laughs> right inside the bloody tube. So when I took it apart, um, I was like, "Yeah, this should be straightforward enough." It took me like 16 attempts at rewiring it to get it to be wired up correctly for all the light switches because they did all the terminating in the bloody fl fluorescent instead of doing it um, in the light switch which is normally where they do it, in the back of a light switch. I could run in and see if uh, there's a... I'm going to run down quickly. That's what they used to do. Yeah, because there's a nice handy box with lots of space inside it. So from that, you had, you've you got four, four lives, um, three negs, and one used as a switch return and the earth, and I had to figure out how the hell they uh, got it to work. <laughs> Which is just nuts. You don't build things like that, that's silly. But yeah, I got it all working, and, and I got the switches working the right way round that they wanted them to work, but it, it took like an hour. Back and forth, like trying one thing, trying the trip. Okay, it's not tripping, but does it work? No, they don't do it like that anymore. <laughs> that's why it confused me, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, there's three lights connected on that system. So an exterior light, two internal lights. And they had all the wiring inside the fluorescent. <laughs> in the, you know, in the in the back of the frame for it. Which had to come off because they were having three spotlights instead. So completely different. It's all kind of working now. Oh, good. We've got some corpses. We've got every chance. Nope, not on that one. Yay. Run away. Okay, I got the board. How much does it need? 225. I think maybe can do 225. This was sneaking in just to get to there. I think I may have to make a couple of implants. I, th I did have some. Um, but yeah. I'm not sure when they built the house. I thought it was like the 90s they built it, but... Eh, uh, nah. They used to do it in the 70s and the 80s. Possibly, yeah. Nowadays they don't, but yeah. They used to do it with really heavy loads, though, lamps like that. Well, yeah, if it had been like the old style lighting, thankfully I'm replacing it with uh, LED stuff for them. So the load is way, way, it's like 20 watts total for the whole kitchen, you know? Um, nothing like the ampage coming through. one of these he said before getting onto the portal and running away I'm on full death mind you yeah. do I want to get up to big NCUs or bigger NCU so I can get some more buffs on this tune so welcome to the stream how the devil are you I should also buy some better um, um, first aids and med kits because I'm still using the ones you get in a REIT, which I think are quality one. So yeah, two out of four. Welcome to the stream. And obviously welcome, Savik. I wasn't sure what Savik would make of me picking the face that Savik always uses to put on this tune. It's the same face as her doc and a few of her other tunes. I know that, so. 
And like I said, didn't really need to bother with the quest in Areep for the armor because I was going to be straight into this instead. Should hit XP cap on this, it's level 60. Yep. <laughs> thereabouts yeah suggested IP is already over we got time to upgrade the uh, implants pretty soon I think uh, what did I need matter creation <laughs> that one oh, nano, nano skills when you're low level on um, on an enforcer they're painful Yeah, I mean, the the rest of the house is pretty good. They're on modern trip switches, so I wasn't too worried. I knew if I wired it up wrong, as soon as I flipped the trip, it would just trip out again. <coughs> so what they did is one of the negatives had a, a little bit of, um, like, red um, wrap around it, so you knew that was the one that was back to the switches. But then there's four switches, and they wired it so everything was getting done at that end. So there were 16 possible combinations. And yeah, I had to do all 16 before I found the actual correct combination. Oh, are these guys still going? Was it like a little boxer and a bunch of stacked cheats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, chat configuration. Default window, tower battle. There you go. Not interested. Someone going around right, cheating. Because if you box in PvP, you're a cheat. Basically, in, in PvP. It seems to be the consensus. So, yeah, dead to me. Right, comp lit. Um, did I have a bag with some comp lit implants? I think I did. I've got these two things, which do give a little bit, so... We'll get these on. And... I mean, it's not a lot of comp lit, but it helps. Uh, I'm not going to use a nano can for it, maybe. I mean, I could, but... Yeah, I mean, they do it, and you can't really... They don't seem to care that what they're doing is, you know just bad for the game in general as long as they can EP and they've done something they think other people care about and generally other people don't care about it so what's the point you know yeah you'll do all that eventually you'll have to sleep and someone will just do it all back again yes I just don't care I don't know when it became a thing that anyone ever cared about that but this is this is why I quit doing anything in PvP um, because there's too many people cheating using boxes and stuff like that. I know they go, then come out doing anything about it, so it's legal. They sound like a five year old talking like that. What are you doing? You know, it's just whatever, you know what I mean? It's just what are we on now 199. We're getting close, but we're not quite there. Uh, maybe make bigger implants. Yeah, and it's just people going out with, with tunes with like 20 or 200 bloody token boards on, nuking away. I saw a tower attack uh, on a base and it went, so-and-so has attacked so-and-so. And, -so. and, and within 30 seconds the base was gone, and it, and it wasn't a lobby base either. So they're just exploiting. You know, I mean... Haha, <laughs> I used God mode in Fallout or something. It's like, yay, yay. <laughs> I just don't care. Um, yeah, we're nowhere near still. Uh, what do we need? 225 for that. Yeah, I could do the daily and then probably have enough comp lit to get it in. That would make sense. A couple of levels worth of comp lit. 
that's going to be the quickest way of doing it as well, I think. Yeah, it's just... It's just ruined for everyone. Yeah, getting things on on a character is, is the sense of achievement in this game. It's certainly not... Um, for me, it's never been the PvP thing because it, it's never fixed. Um, it can the the whole thing can change. Um, but if you've got a cheat to do it, to me, you just you know I have no respect for you whatsoever. None. Do you see the beginnings of the next Let's Build a Tune? Yeah. Uh, if you were watching the YouTubes, um, you'd have seen the first episode already. Is out there. Where we start off in a re and then go and do the subway right after. <laughs> so now... We're here, we're doing the Temple Daily. I think we can do most of this. Be making new episodes up for the stream. Oh, well, this is a stream, but um, while I'm here, it's like I want to go and um, do stuff. So, okay, the mobs seem to have forgotten that I'm here. I'm not sure. This this guy's been like stood there since yesterday. I think you've been busy at work. Yeah, well, that's all cool. Oh, great, another box. It's just boring. I just wish Funcom would do something about people using stuff like that using third-party software to cheat in PvP, which is what boxing in PvP is these days. And I think it's just a shame that they're allowed to get away with it, and then they use the excuse that I think Cam isn't doing anything about it, so it is allowed. Right. What? You make YouTube episodes from the Twitch VOD. Yeah, I'll make proper episodes as well, I think. I kind of, kind of neglected a few of them. Like I did too much of this and not enough episodes, according to people, so... <laughs> I need to sort of do some now. Uh, dude in white. Where's another dude in a white cloak? Because I need le echo a light. Oh, no. Different. Isn't the one in white down here? Not enough to jump. Yeah, better any. There we go. Yeah, with the cultist. He's a nuka. We don't like that kind. No, we don't. One right before the Legos, yeah. It's a weird sound they make, isn't it? I don't know why they make this sound particularly, but they do. I've got grid space and I've got hack and quack and then the other buffs are my own, I think, pretty much. Yeah, it was just before Legos is where <laughs> where we were at. Let's do the acolytes as well. Not 
like a light. What are they called? Faithful. And they've got the sort of copper orange colour on. And it looks a little dark on the stream, so. There you go. Currently running at 208% XP <laughs> with this armour and everything else. Which is bonkers. Can we see? I think he's down this way. Yeah, it's, it is weird, isn't it? Like, it is a bit like Velcro, yeah. I mean, they're decent enough weapons. They're only the illegally modified things, but they're not bad. Should get, uh, what do you get at 25? Like 15 to 25, you can get composite teachings, I think, which is an additional you use the illegals up until level 75. You can, though, that's the thing. You know, on a dock, anyway. They're not awful. <clears throat> and you're never going to be doing, you know, mega damage on a dock, anyway. We know this. Whatever. Reverend... Reverend Cadley. Ooh, red one. What level is he? 36. Ooh, big scary. Gotta keep leveling so I can get the next alien perk. I mean, this isn't any kind of a twink either. I'm just running around with level 30 implants I put in at like level 15 or something. <clears throat> Are you going for an end game amp? Oh yeah, it will be. Let's kill off a few cultists. I've got many around me. A 220 AI 30 Research 80 um, Atrox Enforcer who I got as far as beaters and just went, Yeah, that's done. <laughs> He'd done the DB quest, he's got his beaters in, you know, but he is kind of like, in case of emergency, break glass kind of a enforcer, you know, he's like, You can use him if you have to. <laughs> Complete, didn't we? And then more in there, yeah. And this one's maybe higher. We've got our acolyte as well now. One of them is nuking you. Get rid of you. The only ones that seem to do much damage in here are the uh, the dudes that nuke. Oh, she's a healer. That little one there with the shotgun. And the other one giving me the debuffs. Oh, 
Okay, let's just all calm down and stand there like lemons for five seconds. Right, no more healing for you guys. Let's take out Acolyte Field. Wise guy, FS bit. Yeah, take it easy. The old bugs are the best bugs. Redoing the shield. Toto Mahoney, hello from Secret Omnitech Meeting Room. That sounds ominous. <laughs> Did you loot Defender of the Three? The Skulls, no. I'm probably going to go from these straight to Mortig Beaters, if I can get them on anyway. Now we might already be able to wear them. I think there was one on there. Is it that much better than the Illegally Modified? And do they have brawl? You've got a level 60 dock. That could be cool, yeah. It feels good to be playing a new new tune. Oh, the panther, yeah, but it's two hand edged. I'd just start thinking I was playing my keeper, wouldn't I? So I need to, for my own thing, I kind of need to keep it separate. I know that's a weird thing, but it's a thing, okay? <laughs> Yay, what's that? AI 30. Uh, so I got a new perk. Um, can't use bio shielding. Blunt mastery is two hand blunt. Oh, it's one hand blunt. Um, or Reaver. Also nice. Colossal health only adds 50. Luna Be Prepared is now following. Thank you for the follow. Blunt mastery? Sure. Why not? I have one of those. I need 35 to be able to use the alien experience for the next alien level, though. Tannis Fixer, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> I think Defender of the Three was um, laid out <coughs> when I ran down. I'll see if his corpse is still there. But do those skulls he has, do they have, um, do they have brawl or just fast attack on them? Oh, he's gone. Okay. Yeah, fast attack. Maybe just use the one, yeah. Also, I've got some, a little bit of the Enforcer 05 armor I could use for getting into things as well. Well, thanks for the train, dude. The train that would not go away. Usually they do, though. Fine. It's always these guys that do any damage in here. They just annoy the snot out of me. Silken leg chopper gloves require Atrox as well as comp lit. So I couldn't use them on this tune anyway. <laughs> I think they do two hand edge and something else. But yeah, they're, they're locked at Atrox. <laughs> because I already have an Atrox um, Enforcer, I kind of wanted one that was, you know, just a bit different, really. Atrox. Atrox. Uh, let's have a look. Howling Skull. 
probably equip one of them. 305, yeah, with a bit of work I could get it on. I see a, a wild Savic. <laughs> Looks like we, we both... Are we from Netherlands? You can't pronounce our names. <laughs> uh, what was it? Oh yes, Reverends. Yeah, I've got one. But yeah, it is fast attack only. I need 300 and I need more multi-melee. Weirdos, yes. Uh, no, I don't want middle. Uh, I want to go down to the big room. How much comp lit have I got now? Probably not far off with the other implants as well. Might as well do the base abilities because then I can get the other implants in without too much aggravation. Yeah, more NCU and then I can use... I've actually already got... Um, Headcracker, but I don't have the NCU to cast it. Well, I've got the belt, and I've also got the daily, so I want to get maybe get the daily done. That's a lot of XP. That re he, Reverend, has respawned. Yeah, these, I had a little twink for in here years ago. So I've got the stuff he had in a bag, you see. I, I got rid of him. So I've got a set of implants that he used to have, 75s and 100s. He wasn't like a, pro, a serious twink by any stretch of the imagination, but he was okay. At least I can pronounce your crat's name, Carl Medici. <laughs> Wind callers. We go to the middle room, or we could get brave and try and get these. Let's sing. Run away from the doorkeeper. So if you stand on the last step of the second set of steps, they just reset. <laughs> Any further and you're going to pull the boss. Well, they don't reset if they're following you. Where's the wind caller? Wind call a tiller. <clears throat> Wind call a tiller is about to die. Gamel one 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 one. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Call what they were. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not Sentinels, no. In the mission agency, do you mean? I'd have to. I'd have to go look again to figure it out. Some kind of brown shirt. Well, you know, as clams, it's probably a white shirt that hasn't been washed in a very long time. In before Soto Mahoney. <laughs> was about to make that joke and he's now gone you son of a <laughs> deleting everything he just typed into chat
And yes, day one I bought an aggression enhancer to pull with. There's another howling skull, but yeah, there's only fast attack on it, which is kind of a shame, really. I'll get a second one as well. Are they the same stats? 28 to 112, and... 28 to 112. These are... 25 to 96. So, yeah, pretty similar. Alien fun on schedule for tomorrow. As far as I know, yes. Uh, I haven't heard anything contrary to having like a regular alien event thing. And obviously I want to take this to Skull of Woe from Len. Oh, that's worth trying to get. It's not 100% on him though, is it? It's fairly rare. You go and try and do the doorkeeper. Couple of uh, sn uh, snag to mads here. Yeah, I get the NCUs. They're better than the. I've got the three, three ones you get. This guy should drop. You know, Reverend Sax's uh, skull of Sax. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Curry, there's a good idea. <laughs> Who said curry? I never mentioned curry. Somebody said, oh right, Gamil, offer a Ruby Murray tonight. Nice. You're going, what, you doing a takeout or a sit down in the restaurant? Best curry I ever had was on Brick Lane in London. I can't remember the name of the place, but you sat down, you know the tables are like proper little low tables. Um, and you sat on like a, virtually a cushion, with your legs crossed under the table. My god, that banquet was amazing. Don't remember the name of the place, it's probably changed hands by now. But it was after like a bit of a night out we came in and we said, is it okay? Like, I know we're young and drunk, but... Brick Lane, yeah. Just back from a five day break in Skegness. Rained every day, bloody place, but the fish was great. Well, you know, Scotland, Wales, we kind of, the kind of wet countries generally. Three families that own all the curry houses in Brickland. In Brick Lane, is it? I wouldn't know either way, but it was, um, it wasn't all curry houses at the time when I went down there then. This was like 90. 95, 96, somewhere around there. We spent like 200 quid in there. <laughs> there was only four of us. Oh, your place is on Brick Lane? Oh, you must do well. Let's try and get Keeper's Vitality. the problem with this place there's always someone else just running around making life hard thing is that oh my god here we go <laughs> bunch of tunes on follow there you can see the difference between a bunch of tunes on follow and someone using that third party software stands out a mile the way the tunes are all stood on the same pixel is a bit obvious you know I don't want to have anything to do with it. I don't think it's right. Pesky Taj owners. 
People may think we're multi-boxing too. <laughs> yeah. You must be, you're both in, oh wait, you're different factions and different classes and... But you've got the same head, so you must be a box. Stop leeching, Sam! She just debuffed him with muscle atrophy. Is the stream okay? Is it a bit dark or can you guys see okay? okay I'm never a hundred percent sure. Simit, welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? A bit dark in this room. Okay. That's full brightness, which is nuts. Gamma, probably. Oh, it just looks milk, doesn't it? Something like that, a little better. Okay, sunlight, okay. Oh yeah, that's quite a lot better. Mihalik, welcome to the stream. <laughs> ah, my eyes. Come on. <laughs> it's not that bright. What is bright is when I when I um, bring up Google, when I bring up Chrome and the homepage is uh, white for whatever reason. I thought I had it set to dark mode. I think it unset itself somehow. Yeah, his waste plant's quite good at this level, isn't it? Snag one of those if we can. So this is the new little toon, Mihalik. The last of the Let's Builds. Well, actually, no. It'll be the last, like, proper Let's Builds. All the ones thereafter will be... Yeah, Google randomly decides if it should be dark mode or not. Yeah. There is a pint of cobra with my name on it. Yeah, it's quite nice that. The old Cobra Lager. I was like, what was it, Tiger? There's another one we used to get a lot in those sorts of places. And these give you the big bottles that were like over a pint, like more than a pint or something. Keck MP is waving at us. Oh, have they got a demon? <laughs> Good God, it's level 200 thing. Yep. Level 200 pet. Slightly overpowered. <laughs> that is the that is the best bit about pet classes. Oh, I didn't drop it. Weeping flesh and one of them. I'll take the take the ring. Let's go and see if another one of the um, wind callers is up. Should be one up by now, or somebody's killed them. I think someone's killed them. That guy's a bit of a twink. What's he got on? Is it actual replica? Ah, <laughs> I was going to say, bloody hell. He didn't go all to all the trouble of getting all of that. Uh, we'll do the other wind callers, Sav, and then maybe go look at Len. What do you think? Enz Lerick, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. How the devil are you? Perfectly serviceable beers, but 100% without oomph. There's another wind caller on the way there. Well, I'm too low to join team because you're level 60. So I won't get the XP. 
Ends Lyric subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for four months, currently on a four month streak. Well, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Because I'm getting more XP per mob kill than I am anything else at the minute with all the gear. Yeah, I'll I'll leave team just for now, Sav. Hang on, let me. Yeah, just so I can get the mob XP because I'm getting a lot for mob XP at the minute. Um, mainly because I've got the XP luxurious armor set on, a nano can and two XP rings, so it's kind of a bit ridiculous at the moment. <laughs> More than a bit. All right, wind callers. If you know, it's nice coming in here though and seeing a lot of people, I always feel better about Anarchy Online when this place has got people fighting over mobs in it. Even though it's annoying and yada yada yada, uh, it's better than when it's empty. Only the Exarchs and someone over there doing the custodian. God damn it, this is it. You know, you get you get so far and then you're stuck. Oh my god, things are turning grey. Saw a savage Savic next to... <laughs> uh, back to the main room then. Or was the one wind caller you said on the way to thing down to Legos? Okay, we'll go kill him and then maybe try the main room again. Yatila, yeah. I just kill these things. I'm getting a lot of XP per mob that I kill, so... <coughs> Excuse me. It's because of the XP armor I get a lot. <laughs> tab, 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 tab. Red one, level 57. I think I can take him though. My little baby Mongo seems to work though. Dude, don't KS. What level is he? 43, yeah, I think so. No, I didn't get the the uh, the warning, so. Tell me if you need heal pet. Is that you, is it? Savik's on her dock, so I think I'm probably bulletproof at this point. So you want to make the most out of this armour, which is mostly gives you the, the most XP from mobs than it does from 
mission stages and things like that. He likes his debuffs, this guy. A bit dodgy for pet classes if you catch a debuff and then your pet is right on the edge of what you can and can't uh, have. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly you're screwed <laughs> as your pet goes, no, I won't obey you. Damn it, I'm in GS2. I'm not sure which one we're in. Damn you, spam. GS1 we're in. It is quite busy in here, though, I'll have to say. Yay! Exarchs. We can come back for Exarchs. Should go and see if Len is free. this one up. Me trying to be the enforcer. Careful hitting it with the... Oh my god, I'm Boney Maroney. Yeah. Which is a song title, okay? <laughs> it's like I've got a skull, but I've also got my hair. You've messed with my hair, damn you, that's it. Yeah, the, these weapons were brilliant in um, the subway. They're starting to show a little bit of, uh, you need an upgrade. And <laughs> now we're in here. The other thing on research, I remembered Brawler's Sense on the first line. Uh, you get a prop called Bus Kneecaps, which fires almost constantly. Which is really good at low levels. See, they're level 43, 42, 43. So they can team with level 60s. So I've got like 10 levels to get before I can, which is unfortunate. But this, this tune is, is now out level their implants, so they're definitely gimped now. Fights are taking quite a long time, kind of thing, you know. Yay! Oh, inventory full. Oh, I don't need that anymore. Take one of those. Right. Other people up then. Have a look on the mini map. Can't quite see. I think he's kind of invulnerable to them looking at him. leveling his amp up or something. Who's dragged in and... <laughs> a little nuker.
Right, let's go down and give Len a poke. <laughs> he said just running down blindly. Okay, Len is actually up. Umpteen of these bloody things. <laughs> you guys keep me up. Because I have many, many mobs. Yes, I do. I have bazillions of mobs. It's possibly not great. Only in Temple of Three Winds do you get mass bodies running around with no direction yet. Basically, yeah. <clears throat> Why? It, it, who brought Len? And can someone take care of him? No, oh, I must use bio shielding. We've got all the bloody mobs down here now, this is silly. Okay, I think I lost our teammate. Help! Use your level 200 pet, I'm getting in trouble here. Send in the demon! Because the demon will just annihilate them. I'd slowly back away too, yeah. Try and fight your way up the corridor. <laughs> Still trying to loot. You're not allowed to loot these remains. Right, so this is the upgraded Skull of Lamentation. Okay, we'll take... Oh, Hang on. Let's put things away. So we've got memory loops. these in here as well. And the second thing me. Right, okay. Yeah, I think I'm capping XP in here now. Uh, for level 60s, you've got to be what? Team rank 42. It is 42. I thought it was. Someone's made Wind Caller Rendal their <laughs> pet. <laughs> right, while waiting for respawn, let's go and see if we can get some Exarchs. I'm going to run and look. How much do you need for these? 145. I can equip one of these already. Which is pretty good going. No, it is this way. Yes, here's me running with nearly no sense of direction. Miraculously just got snagged at the door. Right, let's go and have a look in the middle. Exarchs are easier than the main room ones, aren't they? The lower level. 
usually. Get those, that's the daily done. Right, so these are 16 NCU, and one of these is 26. It's an extra 10 per, which isn't bad. Struggling for targeting in here a bit. And itchy ear number one. Doesn't matter what you spend on headphones, you still get itchy ears. Right, let's try this guy solo. I think I can. What level are these? These are 45. They're like 50 to 60, aren't they, in the main room? But they still fulfill the um, the daily, so... I want to get that equipped next. Title level three is... Oh, that's 50, isn't it? Where's title level three? Is that 50 or 35? Can't hit you with comp teachings. No, I don't have the NCU. I've got one NCU left. <coughs> yeah, 50 for title three. If you go nuts, go to nascence and run around killing hecklers you get more XP in Shadowlands anyway. Okay, I'm cancelling Enlarge then. Right, Enlarge is cancelled. Oh, I've got a spare wind caller which I don't need. I've got enough to get the belt on now, I think. Savik is flexing that she's taller than me. You're no longer my twin. No, I'm your little sister. Because I'm short, you see. I'm, I'm shorter, therefore I'm the little sister. Yeah, so now, if I went back to, like, a shop or anywhere with a treatment clinic in it, well, I could swap back to the uh, what's it, implants, and put the belt on at least. Gamel, always fancy twins. Behave! You're not in the curry house with your mates now. <laughs> Okay, can I get that on? Eventually, it will slowly squeeze on. Composite teachings. Must be tight, yes, must be a higher title level. There it is. Uh, what do these need? 141, one. okay. They do go on very slowly, though. Camp here. Sorry, Sav. <laughs> we'll see you later, my dude. Thanks for stopping by, Gamel. Have a good night.
And the third one. How's the cammed streamer life treating you? Well, I, I did it on a bit of a whim, and everyone's saying, but we never see you. And my face is not a secret, so... Here I am. Um, yeah, so there you go. Wait for the Exarchs. Uh, two Ant Edge. Notum, Ring of the Three, don't really need. And some books. <laughs> Level 200 Demon about to kick the snot out of the mobs. Can that solo Azzy as well in here? I would imagine so. Have fun, my friend. Stay safe. Get drunk. Eat too much. I mean, technically it's 55% face, 45% beard behind the giant microphone. I know, but if I move the microphone out of the way, you, you can't hear me, so... Them's the brakes, I'm afraid. See, I could do this, and then, you know, we could have the mic over there, and you can see me completely, and then, but it's a dynamic mic, you have to be close to it for it to work, or you have to have the gain at ridiculous levels, which does sound odd. This way sounds better, sounds more natural. I'm just here grabbing all the XP off all the mobs, give me your XP, I need to level now. I need to trim this beard, it's too long now. Give it one more good trim and then by January it'll be very long again. Um, which would be good because it'll be the middle of winter. Do I need anything from the boss? I'm trying to think. Um, if I'm not two-hand edge, you don't really, do you? I mean, he dropped the weapon, but thereafter, I don't know. One-hand blunt, 417, a little rich for me. Uh, I should be able to... Yes, I can put my other buff on now. A Thug's Delight, plus that. So now my... Melee is getting up there. I'll have a bit in there as well. Exarch. Last Exarch. Yeah, I can't think of anything I do need from the boss, to be honest. Levels are what I need right now, then I can team with the 60s and be all powerful. <laughs> with, the, with the level 200 demon, yeah. So we've got XP from him, plus the final stage of the daily. And I can reset and do the daily again. Because I've got... From doing the parcel quest, you you almost always get the uh, reset your dailies reward. Although everyone says, no, save them for later when you're higher level doing research. And they're right, but, you know. Yay. Right, that's the daily done. I mean, she's managing it. This player here, level 53. I think that guy just wants his, uh, wants his daily there. I think I should beacon out of here and go get myself uh, the five slot in. Or should we get some more memories first? Also, I got the belt of justice. 
because I soloed as he... Well, I tried to solo him. Somebody else kept shooting at him. You vape. Yes. I used to smoke. And vaping got me off smoking. And I feel a hundred times more healthy vaping than I ever did smoking. Way better. I can run again now. Climb, literally climb mountains again and everything else. So, yeah. You guys need help down at Len. Yeah, we could farm some more memories, yeah. That would be pretty good. So it's another melee dock by Savik. <laughs> We go do some Len killing. Yay! Kill Len! Piercing dot. Yeah, Savik is um, never short on ideas. Rock clush Crusher. They're quite nice. They do add damage. And I think I'll take touch of the Gripper while I'm here. Because it's not terrible. Ideas. Hey! Savik has made it work. So, I think I need a level 35 before I get that alien experience. Yeah, I have to think which way to go then. I think there might be a team here looking at the box room at the bottom. Could be trying to farm him as well. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, they could be just doing XP, I don't know. Okay, those two are using the software, the other two don't seem to be. Could I also do... He doesn't drop them, does he? The reanimator? Does he drop them? I think they're farming Len, I'm not sure. They're down at this end, they look like they're ready to, but... They don't seem to be attacking him, they seem to be... Maybe they're just farming... Um, Possibly just farming the Legos. I don't know. Oh, Naleb. <laughs> yeah, that could be a thing, couldn't it? That's quite easy, because you can take two 20s into that. <laughs> That's kind of nuts. I was going to pull the, uh, the Legionnaires out first, but okay. I deleted my Temple of the Three Winds Twink. They're also in Pyramid of Home at the minute anyway. Nice. Good to have you back in game playing, Mahalik. You have been missed, I'm sure. Level 42, and then we become a little army. <laughs> Got a little way to go yet, though. God. Even with, what, full XP armor. Uh, and rings, and an XP can. Like, Tell one mob kills as well, they're ridiculously good. Yeah, luxurious armor, kind of worth it. The Leb's rod at level 
15 and then face roll everything. Really? Has it got brawl on it as well, though? Because the, the reason I went with that is I've already got uh, Mortig Beater of Anguish, which is quite a nice weapon. But you, you think the Leb's upgraded rod is better? Is it better? I know you can get it on at very low levels, but I didn't know if it was actually better. Right, so that's the other two. Um, I've just got to get the belt on now. Howlets afterwards. Got skull of Lamentation. And... That's two of them. Yeah. I've still got... <laughs> I've still got the start, start of weapons and crap in here. Uh, I'll take the blind ring as well. Use that later. I can probably use... But I'd miss the brawl, you see. Have you got brawl on Nileb's rod? Have a look. So, Nileb's nightmare... That's his first one. Is it Noten? 30 to 74 with fast attack. And then that's the upgraded one, Nightmare. Which still is the same, 75 to 330. That is good, actually. It's like a two-hand blunt version of the Stygian. Yeah, I'd miss the brawl, though. I really would. Doesn't matter. Base damage is 75, max is 330. True, true. What is it on... 66 to 396 on the Mortig beaters, though. And then that one's a lower one. Uh, what's that? 54 to 324. Off to eat. See you all later. We'll see you later, Enzleric. Have a good time eating. Are you going to the same curry house as Gamel went to? Or <laughs> have a nice buble bath, indeed. How much melee thing? 300 and... Yeah, I'm a little behind for it. Ugh, itchy ear. Yeah. Of oh, the Mezpat, yeah. And they can be useful, but more often than not, they just break aggro. In the time you can equip more more tigs, you can equip a howlet. I suppose so, yeah. So the top one, hungry howlet, is kind of high, kind of high. So like a lower one. So yeah, I can see it's good. I can see it has a lot of that. Plus it does have brawl on it as well, which I like the sound of. Right. Um, what are we doing? What am I doing? I think go and put the belt on. Also, no need for multi melee. I know this. I know this. I understand. Doesn't need multi melee. <laughs> I could. Shouldn't I be able to get one of these skulls on by now? Like a regular howling skull? Yeah, one of them's going on. Let's see how that is. When Mihalik envisions different weapon for a character, he won't rest until you use it. Well, I, I kind of went, yeah, I think it was like level 70 something, and you went, where are you? And I went, I'm in old nothing, dude, picking up my dailies. Come to Strat now and fly to Peel, <laughs> whichever way. 
Because I've got the dock pistol here. Come and get it. It was like it was like Obi Wan Kenobi going, "You will uh, use this pistol." Sodic go pistols, yeah. Pistol enforcer, that's gonna work wonders. That is. Ah, I got my proc. D shark amp. It's been done. It's pretty impressive when when it is done, but it it has been done. Uh, go back to endurance one then. So two howling skulls, we think. For now. Whichever bag I put them in. Good damn it. I thought I put them in here. Guess I didn't. Okay. Well, they're not in there. I picked them up. Where the hell are they? Did I put them in the smart backpack? Put something in here. What's this? Skull of Lamentation 417 for those, but uh, okay, let's try two of these. Oh, 112 multi. Now, oh, how painful is that? Oh, yeah, I can get there. In a level. <laughs> what level of EOE do you need? <laughs> I have no idea yet. Just need to farm those pistols for Savik. Yeah, for Savik to do the do. Yeah, the, the skulls definitely hit harder. The other option is go two-hand edged and just equip a pants and call it done until like 150. And I have got a pained panther as well. Everything over will make it better. I'm guessing at some point when I keep mentioning the pistol, she's going to tell me to shut the hell up. <laughs> Probably. No, I need the XP. I need to get to level 42, then we can be in a team and everything. Right, I think, should we leave here now? And I'll go and get this belt on. Which is not going to be difficult now, I don't think. No, we'll, we'll, I'll do that with one implant, I think. So I'm going to beacon out of here. We could maybe come back, but I want to get this belt on. <coughs> Mahalik won't rest until I go two hand blunt straight away. <laughs> I had the dream. I wanted to use my Mortig beaters though. So Gato, I don't know why, but Temple of the Wheat, three wins in AO is, in my opinion, the best dungeon in an MMORPG I've ever played. Even the farming is amazing. It is quite good actually. What tune are you making? This is Let's Build a Tune Series 12. Enforcer. So this is the last class of all the 12 classes in the game. Yeah, I've got some on. Yeah, I got two quality, nearly 200. So two seven two seven percent XP rings and a full set of XP armor. Luxurious. So currently I am at... Let's have a look. Uh, 208%. <laughs> and that's obviously with the nano cans, you know. Right then, let's get this belt on. Part of it is also in its history. Yeah, you you 
meet up spot outside the pickup teams the tra yeah the whole history of the place is kind of amazing really uh, wrong thing you want this right okay so uh, which bag did I have those in not that one probably this one yeah these are only little baby level 30 implants or nothing 217 I'll do the hand as well 225 there you go and then I'll have to do the oh so slow NCU bit Enzleric delivery on the way what Enzlo Enzlo I can't read that Enzlo Benfo is that you Enzleric <laughs> 145 enforcer what are you doing i've got them i've got well that's a bad i've got multig beaters i've got them look 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 look, look. beater of distress and a beater of anguish but thank you very much that is better than the other one tiny help for later it will definitely help later if I need help leveling the problem with leveling with this um tune with the with the armor and rings is it, it affects the mob xp rather than the um you know like reward xp it looks like two blood jacks yeah let's have a look inspect equipment it's got the full set of uh, the eight but wearing something quite different yeah, blood jacks. 1200. They're quite nice. Where are they from? Are they from. Um, oh, God. The Crypt of Home. Are they from that one, are they? <clears throat> if Sav is willing to swap her dock to pistols, I will personally farm them for her. <laughs> They're from Lauren War. Oh, right. Okay. Right, five slots going on. I'm not opposed to weird weapons, raid pistols, flingshot SMGs, as long as they do the most DD possible. Yes, it has to do the most damage possible. I was kind of like that on my NT when I made them. I must do the maximum damage I can. 3k, 3k. <laughs> you know, I must have over 3k MC and I must have Garrix and every plus nan direct nano damage buff and uh, item I can get hold of. Uh, it kind of worked. Oh. Headphones make my ears itch. And they're good headphones as well, these. Sennheiser. One hand blunt does way more damage than pistols. It probably does, actually, yeah. And the slow, slow process of putting these silly things in. Right, so we've got memory loops. Let's go with those. Not at range. <laughs> This is true, and you're giving up 5% healing efficiency on one pistol. Plus the synergy of the support alphas and pistol is quite nice. The fact that when you convert a support pistol, uh, a support symbiont rather, to um, an alpha, it adds like multi-range pistol and burst. One hand blunt does not... <laughs> Mihalik doesn't like melee, everyone. If you if you hadn't guessed, Mihalik is not a fan of melee. Docs aren't there for DD. Oh, but Savik's dock is. <laughs> right, and number five. There we go. We got reasonable. Of course they are.
Yay. And yay. They can skin or... That dock damage, of course. <laughs> Riot inducing, yes. Swap these back. These are only... <coughs> Excuse me. These are all Lobi implants I'm wearing here. There's nothing... Nothing fancy on this tune. It's not remotely twinked. I just put gear on them, basically. That was it. You know, don't look at this tune and think, ah, that's that's how to twink a tune. It absolutely isn't. <laughs> this is definitely not a uh, twinked tune. Right, I'm going to head back to the subway. Or I could go to Grippler Cave. Then I'd lose my run speed and it would take me all day. What do we think? What level... Temple of the Three Winds, I hope. Oh, can you not take that twink anywhere else? Is it uh, a fruit? I can't go to the subway either. I'm level 33 at the moment, so... Did I say subway? I thought I said Gripple Cave. I could go nuts into Shadowlands and try taking down level 80 hecklers. <coughs> uh, are you guys still inside here, are you? Let's have a look. What GS have I just gotten? GS1. Libox. I think it is more XP there, isn't it? Marla's in the wetlands. I just want to find Savik and the gang. Marla, right, okay, right. <laughs> I want to try a Heckler. I'll probably die on it, but... Still caps at 10%. Okay. Kaboom, kaboom, more kaboom. I'm actually saved in nascence, I think, because uh, I did the key quest just because. Uh, the hecklers are level 80 mobs, but you, at level 60, most people can solo them. One at a time, at least. If you get a few on you, you could be in trouble. Is your dock a frub or paid sav? That's the thing, if we go to Shadowland, Savik can't come on that tune. You haven't got a paid lobby, have you? Okay, right. Don't have a paid lobby, fair enough. I know you've got like a bazillion unpaid tunes. Right, now my run speed is all the way down to 160. Oh wait, I can do a doja, can't I? I can do a doja. <laughs> I haven't done a doja on this tune yet. Uh, outskirts. i just got to pray that... Um, Whatever that spider's called, he doesn't show up. Please be green. No, oh, the grey. Damn it. Chasing mobs. I hate chasing mobs on melee. 
Come on. Make it painless. Where the hell are you? Come on, give me a doja. Oh, as if by magic, look who's here. He used to be invisible as well, that used to be fun. What level is he? 110, yeah. Does not belong in nascent, but here he is. I'm staying well away from that thing. Logically, this thing should run that way. He used to be, yeah. He was invisible back in... Well, in the Shadowlands beta he was. We found him and we took like 20-odd people there, all like level 20-ish, to try and kill him. He wiped the floor with us. We didn't have a hope. <laughs> so even the level 1 stuff is giving me uh, 2 XP instead of 1 XP no oh, you killed you killed Howell or however you say his name good one less thing to worry about Yeah, he wanders around everywhere. Sometimes he does go invisible as well. He used to be invisible all the time. Yay, Doja! I should be good on the Doja till what level? Can't remember, but that's a mission reward worth there. Let's wait for the two minutes rather than do. Go to cave. Oh, yeah, that could be, what, the old Crippler cave. That should bring back some nostalgia muscles. Definitely. I don't think I can run. Oh, there's a garden exit right here, isn't there? Howell doesn't drop anything, or Hual, or... I have no idea how you say his name. I'm going to hand this doger in, and then come back here for good old Crippler Cave. No, Drake, you will not get me. What stone is it? Uh, for clan or for omni? I know where it is on the map. Yeah. For a clan, it's the nearest is Nascent's Wild. That's the cave there. I think Mill is the nearest for omni. I don't think there's anything nearer. Yeah, it'll be nascent wild and then just run south. Yeah, I'd forgotten that uh, Enforcers had dark blue run speed. <laughs> Scarlet Doll Quest. I has a doja. Give me XP. Yay. Goodbye. Uh, I'm just using the, you know, the braces you make in uh, a reet. Just making those. Oh, yeah, I want to put this on, don't I? Or do I? I don't know. Maybe. No, it reduces run speed. I don't want it. Yeah, poison. Poison bracelets. I think his only adds, like, five, and it's sort of a personal challenge to not ever get a bracer from him. <laughs> Have a look, yay! Right, I'm gonna come out by Nascent's uh, The Wilds, or whatever the hell it was. It's usually where Clan go to do Lord of the Void, because he's right near it. Uh, we're, it's right round the back. <clears throat> Well, yeah, poison is one of the better damage types to have. Chemical or poison. Which, aren't they the same AC? They're just named differently. 
but the check is still against the same thing. Two mountains, step of despair, nascent wild. Yeah, this is it. Except then you run south instead. Tomorrow's daily is going to be all over the place. Is chemical different? Is it poison and disease that are the same? I'm thinking of then. Hmm, only green, but then again, they're Shadowlands mobs. So, there's some higher level ones inside, I know that. Yeah, disease and poison are the same though, aren't they? Yeah, I'm getting as much for these as I was for Legos, I think. The Shadowlands XP buff. Oh yeah, they do die faster. That's the point. Yeah, XP per hour will be better. Yes, it will. <laughs> I think the first time I ever came in here I was like level 15 or something. And the XP was just amazing. Got to get up to level 42 and then start killing hecklers. <laughs> Power level for Biomech. <laughs> Crippler Cave, my god, the memories. Another research line done, I think. Or is it? No! Ah, it's unlocked. I've hit 35, so I've now got the other perk. So I can have a bit more nano skill. There we go. Yellows are about the ideal for speed. Best thing about here, anywhere in nascent, see, I jump off the side. <laughs> it just teleports you straight back to Job. It's kind of nice. Nice little touch for people biting off more than they can chew. So where are the Marlas then? Are they in one of these islands? Where the Ascendant and uh, Marla what's it are. Those are the ones you were thinking of, Sad. I always think they're a pretty good idea. Yellow mobs are kind of like the easiest way to, to do. What level have they had, you know? We'll go once round here for old time's sake and then maybe go check out Marla's. But if I pull one of the big ones, I'm in trouble. They're 60-ish. Yeah, that would give quite a lot of XP at this level. Probably cap it and they'd be good. They may or may not be as easy to kill as a heckler. With the hecklers, you never know. You might get there and, you know, there's an NT and a 220 tank and <laughs> you've got no chance. You just be there sucking everything up. I think my HP buff has run out, actually. There we go. That's better. Nearly 2k health now. I think maybe your pet killed that one. <laughs> Judging by the XP. There's some slightly better ones on the other side, isn't it? They drop low-level uh, symbionts and all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, but this used to be a... People would contest this cave 
you know, like, go away, our team was here first kind of deal back in the day. Back in the Shadowlands beta. When, because the only Rubicar area that was open was Borealis um, and Tia, and you couldn't go off Blitz in Nanos or whatnot anywhere or get any gear. One of the worst run uh, beaters ever, the Shadowlands beta. Um, there was a bunch of people that had never played the live game and they were all, oh no, pet classes are clearly the way to go because they could just buy all their pets in Borealis which was silly. Um, so they, they were convinced, you know, killing hecklers in Elysium with their full pet team. They were like, oh, I'm sure, pet, you know, pets are, pet class is clearly superior to every other class. Blah, blah, blah. And I was going, no, pet classes are really good, but, you know, certain raids you can't be done. Well, you wouldn't be able to handle the mercs. And they were like, oh, I'm quite sure we could handle the mercs. And I was like, you really, really couldn't. You know, like level two, these are like level 150-ish players, you know. It's like, <laughs> no, you could not. I bet they got the shock of their lives when they went to the live server. Right, one more greeny, and then I'll try one of the bigger guys. Oh, we got a bigger croaker. Croaker of night. 36. We're getting there. Oh, the inter... Yeah, the static. Yeah, it can be very good, yeah. Right, let's... Pull one of the big guys. I should be fine with a heal pet as well. I would get an ad now, wouldn't I? Yeah, well, there you go. Two ads. Yay! Alright, let's kill the ads. Some of them are a little below cap, but pretty good. Volpu, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? Yeah, I would have thought that as well, that um, orangey yellow mobs are probably the best. Sort of, you know, given that you're going to be spending a while killing everything. So that's probably boosted up the nano skills a little more. It has. Marla's in wetlands for reals. Okay, we're going to go go last one here then. And then we'll go to the Marla's. But remember, we ain't doing a lot of damage here. Title level three, yeah. Can't use it. Shame. Would have been nice. Especially if you rage run, they can't stun you. I remember farming this guy for symbionts back in the day. Here you go. I mean, they're crap. I mean, they really are. <laughs> Level from 11. Um, but he does drop them. And occasionally you get a useful one, you know, depending on your character. Okay, so Marla Wetlands. Where's the nearest anything? There you go. Okay, uh, so just go to the wetlands and run across, yeah? Fix the damage buff. Oh, that could be interesting. I'm not sure if I've got the NCU. I probably have, actually. 
I'll take one. Uh, Vic. Yep. Feel like you've arrived in the middle of nowhere and you can't get out. Uh, what else? Yeah, we'll do some of these. Here we go. Uh, run speed? Yeah. On my lobby. <laughs> the only problem we've got here is we've got Oh, they're grey. That's good. Some of them are grey. Some of them are a boss, aren't they? What's that dude over there? Oh, no, he is as well. So am I in the right neck of the woods here, guys? Where are the Marlers? Over here. Oh, press them. Oh, dang. Anarchy Online. Not seen that in years. Yep. Currently celebrating 20 years of Anarchy Online. It's kind of nuts when you think about it. <laughs> Okay, these are green, or that one is. That's a start, I guess. Go to core instead. Okay. Uh, oh, this island here. Right, okay. I'll kill this one. These are all grey and green. We're in Shadowlands right now. We were in good old Temple of the Three Winds earlier on, farming bits and pieces, so... Yeah. Uh, I'll go back to the garden and then come across that way. Is that quicker? Yeah. I'll do that. You're at the core. Okay. I'm going to use the garden egg uh, to hop across. Should work. Should work well. We shall see. i to find a little land bridge now to get back across. <laughs> Whoever designed this area was evil. Gauta! He also designed all of Anarchy Online as well. Well, most of it. Not all of it, but most of it. Right, okay. And I want to go to the core. Okay, I see you. Right. have a look where are they where are these okay I've got one tabbed looks green it's the first one Mala Anna oh they do the stun thing don't they yay standing around like a lemon not hitting particularly hard so not too worried you just killed dozens of these then is that the <laughs> was that the plan meant more of the state of the game surprised to actually see a stream of the game and people f following the game stuff. it's probably busier now in game 
than it was uh, 10 years ago. A lot of that has to do with the effect lockdowns had on MMOs. A lot of people were like suddenly stuck at home going, what was that game I used to play years ago before, you know, we got married and got a mortgage and kids and yada, yada, yada. Um, And yeah, loads of people came back, but the surprising thing is they came back and most of them have remained despite the lockdowns basically ending, so it's kind of good in a way. There's always a silver lining, or even on the most atrocious things. So I'm at the right place here, Mihalik. Be right back. I'm on follow with you, okay. If your pet's on auto heal, then I'm good to go, I think. I think I could handle these anyway, to be honest. Just with hack and quack. Despite the fact they seem to really want to charge in on me here. Like, chasing mobs? No, we shall come here. Oh, well, that one's... <laughs> I think your pet maybe is guarding you, and one of them attacked. And it just went splat. You dead. Very, very quickly. I think I could take hecklers, you know. Oh, it's a boss one. Let's get that it's yellow. Mala Appy. If you're Mala Appy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Yes, dad jokes at a million miles an hour. You'll be famous on my stream. Are you streaming as well, Londis? I know who we're raiding afterward then. <laughs> you are brilliant. You got all your uh, uh, posh acoustic foam up and everything. Oh yeah, it's a boss. Did it drop anything? It did drop a thing. An artillery unit chest. And refreshed team outfit. They are they are very low. <coughs> symbionts. I'm quite a fan of symbionts even early on. Just that they buff so many stats at the same time. <coughs> One dropped off in the night and set the dogs off. Really? Did you clean the wall with IPA? Wherever you're sticking the things down, clean that wall with IPA first. That was the one recommendation that uh, everybody made to me. So I was like, I has IPA, I work with electronics, so nice and easy. Yeah, it still came off, I don't know. Mind you, I painted this room only about four or five years ago. IPA. No, Mihalik, it is not. It is that. This mob keeps running away. I don't know why. Pure, yeah. It's isopropylene something or other alcohol. I can't remember the proper thing and everyone just says IPA anyway because <laughs> it's a damn sight easier to say than the uh, the correct chemical scientific name you've probably smelt a lot of it over the last 18 months <laughs> it's the active ingredient in sanitizers and when even when you go for a job you know those swabs they give you that smell it's that smell the IPA smell of doom Okay, I'm starting to get yellow ones over here now. These are a little better than some of the others. Yeah, India Pain Pale Ale as well. I was going to do multi, wasn't I, and put the other thingy on. 
How much did I need to put the other skull on? Twelve. Oh. Lose brawl, gain damage. Let's have a look. I have got 112. Oh, that's psychic, isn't it? Ulti Mally. Ah, yeah, I'm a doofus. Right, there we go. Right, I miss Brawl already, but I am hitting harder, so what the hell. No, your pets have been fine. There were no shenanigans at all. Die. Yeah, they're dropping faster. Min damage is just stronger on these, so yeah. <coughs> Too slow, start and enforce it. Yes, started yesterday, recorded it. The first episode is over on YouTube. If Sav wants to spam that link to that video, it's episode one, and this is the in between episode one. Yay, I've got friends. <laughs> Do you start all over with a different breed after your enforcer? After this enforcer is done, which will be near Christmas. Um, I'm thinking then we do the um, season two of the Let's Build. So this will be number 12. So that's every single class covered in a Let's Build. And then Let's Build season two will be kind of audience choice. So, you know, silly stuff. Which I think will be quite good fun. It'll be hard because I know what people are like if I say it's over to you guys they'll go <laughs> um, and make sure it's bloody hard well we're progressing reasonably quickly yeah an Aptrox crack yeah something really silly that ended up working rather well I just realised I've got the gamma all the way up from being inside the temple. It should look a bit more scary like this. Or did we prefer it when it was brighter? Nano Mage Soldier. Yeah, just fun stuff to try, you know. AR Nano Mage Soldier PvP character. Yep. German Microwave. Oh, welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you in a while. Trox Nanomage was fun. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. So after this is done, then we're going to do the Season 2 Let's Builds. The ever-growing titles on my videos <laughs> that apparently YouTube think is too long. Make your title short. No, it is what it is. I don't care. Um, well, I don't care as much as YouTube does. Enforcer is never done. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a bit, been getting the AO itch again. Yeah, nothing else, no other game seems to quite scratch that itch, I find. Doesn't matter what game I play, sooner or later I'm going, oh yeah, but if I could twink into the next one. Oh, you can't, because it's level locked. Everything in this game is level locked. You must buy loot boxes. You know, the corporate games that I just don't care about. You know, I try them, everyone says they're great, and I try them for about a week or so, and then I'm like, no, I'm bored now. Kind of looking forward to New World. New World? What's New World? Amazon Game Studios, Ooh, well, I'm, I'm not going to get hyped up for any game ever again. I made that mistake with um, 
Fallout 4. It was a good game, but it's definitely not the best Fallout game I've ever played. Not by a long stretch. Um, but it was an enjoyable game, and the DLCs were actually pretty good. Um, but that's as much as I can say about Fallout. But, you know, the hype we had for it was just kind of ridiculous. It's a new MMO. I mean, I'm sure I'll take a look at it unless the first reviews are just, you know, leave it be. It's crap. Level 39. Yeah, if the game... Yeah, but it's got pretty graphics. But have you noticed... Are you off to bed, Sav? Good night. Thank you for coming. Always a pleasure to see you, Savik. I will see you tomorrow for aliens. Um, you know. Yeah, we are kind of doomed. The only the only thing that's going to be is going to be player hosted services, uh, servers rather. Um, eventually, I think that's the what's gonna that's the way it's gonna go, because there really isn't anything to replace this. You know, a game where you can twink in it and all that. A lot of people slag it off, and I'm like, well, if you hate it so much, why do you keep playing it? You know. It's like, He's like, it's like dating someone you hate just so they can't date anyone else. We, you know, just it's not healthy. Don't do it. It's weird. Or dating someone, or being with someone because you you want them to be something else. You know, you gotta you gotta accept what's there because quite often that's it. You can farm, chop down trees, dig for oil. Mm, yeah, but isn't that a bit like all survival games are a bit like that now? I mean, I never, ever played or watched uh, Fortnite, and that was like the biggest thing ever. But I, I sort of said, well, what's the... Oh, right, uh, Last Man Standing. That was an Armour 3 mod years ago, like 2013. That was an Armour 3 mod. Frankie on PC in 1080p, you know showed how much fun that was and it was a much harder game than okay that was weird uh the most others uh research need to pick a new research to do go for flex ability three more levels and i can team with the level 60s i remember logging into my twink agent back in the day and it was all red after the oe patch yeah I remember that one. Do you remember when Challenger used to add to your weapon and nano skills as well? Not just your AR. So agents were like, you know, level 50 agent with a level 200 weapon on him. <laughs> Which nowadays isn't that far-fetched, but back then it was ridiculous. Vulpu, am I? It's a matter of time for Amazon to turn New World into Project Entropia 2. I never played Project Entropia, so you might have to help me out on that one. Mala Anons. Oh, I think we've got a boss. Or something approaching a boss. What I see in a lot of games now is that while you're fighting, there's massive animations and explosions and glorious eye candy, but the core gameplay is just sort of like... <laughs> it was the first thing I tried Lineage 2 when that launched, and I remember trying that out. Like, quite a few people from Storm did it. Um, you were good without playing that one. That is more about real life money than about game. Yeah, I can believe it. It seems to be the case these days that the model seems to be um, make everything pay to win and milk everyone. It's like game developing has been replaced by gaming companies, as in like Vegas gaming companies. It's all about getting money through the machine, you know? Milk your customers for all they're worth kind of thing. It definitely feels like it's gone that route to me. You know. 
especially like EA and you know that they really are like a casino. They're they're a massive online casino that doesn't admit it's a casino, just so it can get around gaming licensing and laws. But th that's the way they approach it. They go, oh, it's a game. Well, where's the money? You know, and you, oh, they pay a subscription every month, and they immediately like the gaming companies like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's your entrance fee. How are you making the real money? And that's the mentality and the business practices they've um, employed ever since. Ever since those kind of people took over, it's just wrecked it, really has. It's just turned it into something very ugly. Entropia was literally a real money game. Basically, you had to invest hundreds of dollars into gear and equipment to start to be able to play the game. The gimmick was you could re convert the in-game money into real game money. Yeah, I, just sounds like a scam to me, <laughs> that does. Yeah, Blizzard, and well, Blizzard was bought by, Act and Activision came under the, the EA banner. I mean, if you watch um, people like Jim Sterling go on about just how foul these people are, it's shockingly bad. Big man fours. Beep, beep, beep. That is in the stream. How are you doing, dude? How's the, how's the latest video coming along? You want me to do some more lines for you? You know I will. You're keeping it at 15 minutes. It's your creation, man. You do what you want. Don't listen to people like me or anyone else. Do your own thing. It has new perk. What shall I perk into? More bio shielding or another blunt mastery? And we'll go for that. There we go. Keck Krat. <laughs> we have a friend. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream. Cat crap. Stream. Stream. Cat crap. <laughs> Still have my third narration. Oh, it's up to you. You want anything different? You know where I am. I'll uh, I'll send you files and whatnot. You guys are just kicking it and leveling. Yeah, kind of. I wanted the goal was get to level forty-two so that I can team with the two level 60 twinks, one of which was Savix, um, who's now gone to bed because it's buble bath time. Um, so I don't know, we're going to do these and then try a few hecklers out, <laughs> just because. I have a level 60 Temple of the Three Winds Twink. Cool. Well, we've got you offering, and we've also got Kek MP. Possibly. <laughs> level 60 as well. But you know, uh, XP uh, limits and all that, you could be level 42. I wonder what weapon style this Enforcer will adopt. Well, thus far I'm sticking with one hand blunt, but I am being swayed by Mahalik into, you need to use two hand blunt. I mean, ultimately that's the end game probably would have been. Dual Tigs, well, I'd like to, yeah. I think Dual Tigs are cool. I've had them before on like a little level 60 twink and they were a lot of fun. You just run up to mobs in the temple and go bang, bang, splat. Why is my proc not active? Oh, because I zoned here, didn't I? And I have that one as well. Must maximize efficiency. Kind of missing brawl, though. There is if you don't PvP. I don't PvP. 
until Funcom get rid of um, everyone that's cheating in PvP, I'm not interested in it. It's no fun. It's no fun when people are cheating. You know, if someone's ru running around with not only a box, which you should not be... I mean, technically you're not allowed to do in PvP, but they won't ban it or ban people for doing it, so now people that do it are going, well, technically it's not against the rules, so we're fine. And anyway, you know, the five-year-old's argument. Um, and the other one did it first. It's, to grow up. Get a, get, get a better argument, you know. Um, also, I read it when they type it, and I just can't be asked responding, you know. It's just... It's exactly how they sound. Well, of course it is. You know, I don't think they realise. I think in their own minds there's some uber overlord, but, you know, this is not what the rest of the world sees. There are a tiny minority of people that are a pain in the arse for the majority. But they don't, they don't understand that. You know, it's a shame, but they don't. Or they don't care, you know. Need to put some rage on that Emph eventually. He's got a rage somewhere. I've got Challenger. Uh, what's Rage Commander? Is it medical, isn't it? Or is it? I did have one. Maybe I've not uploaded it yet. I had the little baby one. Of, like I say, this tune's like a day old. Uh, so there's lots that he hasn't quite done yet. I think, did I? I don't think I did upload it. The baby one is OP. Uh, it's level 42 to team with level 60s. And I got Face Font Wraith X42 in black as my free login reward. I think that one's. <laughs> I'm keeping that one. 800 run speed. <laughs> I'm sure I uploaded it, but where would it go? Oh, it's there. Berserk Rage! CSGO, someone in the other team turned on hacks, and then someone on your turn teams on hacks, and then the other... Yeah, exactly. It just it just breaks, you know, the what the game is supposed to be completely. It's, um, it's a shame that Funcom won't do something about it, but hey... Yeah, they, they're using, um, like, multicast software. You can tell, because the tu <clears throat> all the characters are all standing on the exact same pi pixel all the time. You know, they should just, like, switch PvP off on one server and say, right, you lot, go box on another server. No, I used to like Note Wars, I used to like... Used to love the battles and the tactics and the running back, and you know, you'd spend a whole evening trying to hold a base or take a base, and it was fun. Uh, and then these losers come along, and it's just like, ugh, just wreck it for everyone. That's it, I, I must have died a thousand times in. No wars over the years, but about five years ago they were getting really bad with it, and I just went, oh, I'm done. <laughs> you know, just one day, there was there was someone there, and they had, they were wearing like 15 token boards, and you know the type of thing. And I was just like, Nah, I'm done. Nah, I'm done. Yeah, there was some good like PvP orgs and all that. The server would crash. It just couldn't handle 500 people all fighting each other in one playfield, you know. But they were awesome evenings, you know, just spent doing that. Used to absolutely love it. We're nearly there. 
Yeah, nearly, the servers the servers still can't handle big loads like that. <laughs> like the alien event, it was like 700 people trying to get in. And some of the arguments, we keep hearing the same old arguments. Oh, well, the boxes are keeping the servers going. No, they're not. The people selling graces to the boxes are the people keeping the servers going. They're buying the box. They're buying graces and selling them to the boxes who are using them to keep their accounts going. So <laughs> it's self-perpetuating, really. Actually, I'm. I don't use a graceful box. I use a credit card. Yeah, well, was that six six accounts? You got to, You know, it's a minority. It's not the majority. It's one of them, you know. Most boxes are using graces to keep their accounts running. So the people buying the graces, you see, Funcom win either way with it, don't they? They they've got their fifteen dollars or whatever for a grace. Doesn't matter what happens to it after that. It really doesn't. They've had the money. You love botting and boxing and multi boxing. Yeah, well. Not everyone does. In fact, I think you find that's a minority opinion, but you're entitled to it. What is the go-to GUI? It's still Notum Dovetech. There's a couple of variations. This is Notum Dovetech Edge. There's Glass and a couple of other variants all on the same site. And there's a slightly different variant just for um, the new engine, because you've got the new sliders and stuff. And chain stunned by a bunch of these things. Well, no, if they banned it, they'd lose maybe a, a, at the maximum how many people are boxing? 100? How many do you think? 100? 300? 200? 50? Do you know what I mean? And no one cares about boxing in PBM, and they never have, because it makes it a lot easier, especially with instant stuff. Probably about 200. Nah. I bet you it's way lower. But, you know... No one actually knows. People that box think it's higher and people that don't think it's lower, but nobody actually knows. It's not keeping the game afloat. If it was keeping games afloat, look at, what was it? Was it WoW or someone that banned it outright? Don't destroy it. I can't destroy you. I can't tell you what to do. Yeah, Tower Wars do make PvP unique, but boxing in PvP is basically cheating. Yeah, WoW had about 10 million. Well, that's it. A lot of the hardcore people that play WoW, I mean, how long's WoW? 2004, wasn't it? People didn't like where the game went in terms of like the the pay scaling. As soon as Activision and Blizzard were bought out, it kind of went boom, apparently. So these people started opening up their own vanilla servers, and all the you know all the Blizzard gang and all the rest of it were going, "No, you don't want that." Oh wait, I'm level 42. Time for hecklers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they did it. It didn't end WoW, did it? I don't know if WoW have anything like a grace system either. I don't know. I 
loads of boxes in WoW. Good job I don't play it. WoW tokens, yeah. So as long as there's an in-game comp... I mean, they had it in Warframe and got rid of it. Um, but they did it smartly in, in, the, in theirs. I don't know what they did with the netcode, but you cannot run more than one instance of uh, the game on one computer. It will not let you do it. You'd have to do... You'd have to be running um, virtual desktops just to be able to multi-box in, in that game, which is probably... I don't know, but I would guess that's probably what's going on with... Um, uh, the WoW servers, because I think they did something similar. But, you know, running a, a VPN is... Uh, a VPN? Running a, a virtual desktop is pretty easy. They can, but you think how many people have got, you know, oh, well, no, I'm, I'm having a LAN party with my friends at my house. You know, and that's a perfectly legitimate thing. You know, I know plenty of couples that, um, you know, I used to play WoW, uh, not WoW, I used to play Anarchy with Mrs. Kalos too. We both used to play. So we, we, we were still hooked up to the same router, you know, so RIP would have been the same. But if you if you run um, virtual desktop or, you know, VM, virtual machines, each one would, would end up with a different IP. Yeah, and if you're in one house, you've got one IP address, usually. Unless you've got a very sophisticated setup or you've done some other stuff. Not VPN, yeah. I, I, you know what that is? That's the amount of advertising for VPNs now. Virtual private network. So these things do hit, but I can hit them pretty hard back. That's not bad going. I'm going to go for a bio in a second as well. Yeah, one of the first things I did with this new tomb was just switch off tower battle messages. Just, I don't care. <laughs> just really do not care. They said, right... We're switching off Noten Wars. It wouldn't make any difference to me. Do you know what I mean? Have a nice evening. Got to hunt showdown calling tonight. All right. Okay, this is silly amounts of XP. We're going to outlevel the temple too quickly and not be able to go back there to make an episode. Which will just be nuts but it's hard to turn down this kind of XP when it's there I think if I go back and put some 50s or 100s uh, implants in I can probably handle these guys solo uh, we're at steps of despair which is basically the opposite end of the same run must maximise efficiency Bling, 43. Don't skip on Temple of the Three Winds. Yeah, I want to make an episode, because otherwise people will be like... But, yeah, you know... <laughs> it's one of the best... Um, um, yeah, like you said, it's one of the best MMO dungeons. Just going to hang here while I nip to the lavatory. Because I, like, need to. And I'll get a glass of water as well, because my mouth's getting dry talking. Give me a sec.
and I'm back. I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> wise guy FSB, Che if, if poo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. At 60, you can shut off XP gain and just do research if you must. Yeah, I'm going to level this to 220 and fill it full of nice gear, if I can. Get all the quests done, get DB done. Um, what else? DB3 stuff. Get as much of that. Pyramid of home. Get all the gear. Another research level done. You want to go and get the boss over there, don't you? I can tell you. <laughs> I saw him walking past just before and I thought, hmm. Have you passed level 60? Now I, I need to go back to the temple and make a, a proper recorded episode. Or I'll just get loads of stick. You didn't do a subway jump, did you do? Like the first episode, I was having that much fun, I just went, right. A re subway one episode. It's doable. You just cut out all the boring bits. Edge of Tara Twink. That'd be nice. Or we could we could follow the teachings of Mihalik and go and get uh, Neleb's rod. He's adamant it's better. -er. But I, I like the one hand blunt thing. Is this completely stuck or? Yeah, that's, that's, chuffed. I definitely need to upgrade the implants, even if I just throw in some better um, store-bought ones. Carl, do you or anyone else have a screenshot of the old temporal of the Three Winds when they had the ring portal in the tea room? Or did I recall that from a fever dream? A fever dream. It's always been an open dungeon. I was there on test live when they were messing with it never had one of those. It does in the high level version though. At this point you might as well suffer through those 10 levels and just go howl it. I'm wondering how far off if I I could do I don't know, 581 on that one. I'd have to change out implants and everything for it. What's the multi? And the multi is. Ooh, quite high actually. 558, 588. What about the lower one? 503. That's a lot of multi melee to find. That would take some work. Oh, the original Shadowlands. Yeah, you know the room you're in before you do the final boss at Pyramid of Home? That's what the original Shadowlands uh, teleports were, looked like in the Shadowlands beta. You went inside a room, and it was exactly that room you see for, that's in Pyramid of Home. Level 60 Enforcer. I think he want to join. I think he probably do. He's got his chops on. Yeah, the Shadowlands portals back in whenever the beta was, and I was in that beta, did look. Well, really, for Pyramid of Home, they've recycled the um, portal room that they had in that. Oh, the portals? No. You know when you go and there's the portal technician and the other guy? Those used to look like that. New subscriber! Not a weenie. Subscribed at tier one. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, those were... Um, that's what they've reused in Pyramid of Home is the original teleports before they kind of moved them outside. I think that one's broke. Got a couple of broke ones again. Yep. Yeah. 
There's a high level MP over there, I think, because I can see a pair of blue shields that I'm pretty sure are the uh, what's it shields. Oh, yeah, I meant to be raging. Uh, I'm on fire. Been trying to find the old screenshots. I wish I could resurrect an old hard drive because it had. Uh, like a hundred and something screenshots from that beta but it's an old IDE drive and it's well and truly dead I think it was an IBM desk star or the IBM death star as it became known I'm curious now because of Mahalik saying oh you want the Nelebs rod up upgraded I'm wondering if he's right. We should do that. But I really wanted to use the um, the other stuff. Dave, three of five. Oh, is this the new Emp? Yes, this is the new Enforcer. Two days old, I think. Let's have a look. Born. Thursday, the 2nd, at 10 o'clock-ish. 36 hours old, and out here kicking the arse out of these things <laughs> yeah before SSDs well I would buy enterprise level if I could afford them 2005 yeah the oldest existing tune that I still have is Kalos 2 at December 2001 and that was my first re-roll as well that was six months after the game had started thereabouts and I was uh, I was on a nanomage adventurer, and he was just completely broken IP in all the wrong places. Couldn't even tank a bloody um, a grey roller at in a mission once. And at that point, I thought, yeah, yeah, you need to re-roll. <clears throat> so I made a second guy and just put the two on the end, so people would know it was me. Um, and the plan was that eventually I'd go back and fix him somehow. <laughs> Never did. Then I made an MA just called Kalos. Um, I don't know where he's going, but they're on this side, not that side. Um, yeah. Well, the, the reason your demon does that much damage is that demon is level 200. <laughs> Yeah, you've kind of gone round one the other side of the rocks. I don't know if we want to just pure grind. Oh, you're just using the garden exit or something. I th I think we should go to Nalebs and get a Nalebs rod just to maybe. I don't know, I'm torn now. I'm torn. We've got Mahalik in one ear saying, Ah, no, you must use the two-hand blunt. And then the other side of me is going, Yeah, but I've already got all these one-hand blunt stuff. Yeah, come on, the NT. Kaboom, 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 all the way through. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Heading to um, Nilebs. Not called Nilebs, it's called Steps of Madness. But yeah, Nilebs, you know. Big Man Keeper, level 60. You successfully made me sound like an 80s movie nerd with a pocket calculator being condescending. Well done. <laughs> we should go and try Eli Hex at this thing. Don't be silly. No, I will level too fast. I won't be able to record a Temple of the Three Winds video and people will complain. Trust me, they will. How fast quality 160 implant twink. Yeah. 
German microwave. Getting some. Yeah, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go somewhere different and possibly less dark. Also, I should put some better uh, sim uh, implants in. We should definitely be doing that. Well, if you come on an NT, it'll be... That's the thing with uh, Steps of Madness. You can go in on a 220, it don't matter. Uh, which is what a lot of people do to farm in there. But, hey. <laughs> We could do that and just hide behind him as he goes into the room going V-E, V-E, V-E. Okay, everything's dead. Before we do, I'm going to grab at least some fi quality 50 implants. Throw them in. I don't have the 50k for the portal. Put money on your characters, goddammit. I love it when people name the characters like that. What was his name? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Dave, three of five. How's your week been? Interesting. Has been quite an interesting week. All things told. Ended rather abruptly with um, the most cabbage wiring system I've ever seen. Right, let's have a look. Boom. Uh, I have got some implants in a bag, but they're probably a little too high. 154 in telly. Oh, that said, I don't think I've got the IP, but... Yep, we do. We're doing it. Okay, let's put this bag of implants in. Hopefully I can manage it. Okay, that's a 75 brain. And do I want the gripper in the left arm? Strength and brawling. Makes sense, doesn't it? Which one? That's left arm, isn't it? Oh, no, it's right arm. Do I need the right arm? I need the other right arm. Can I get that in, though? Uh, strength 204. With outside buffs, I can. 204 and 479 treatment. Yeah. I need some baths, and I can do it. That's only giving 10 there. Just take my oldest tune. Junk. What's this? Oh, your boiler died. Oh, no. That is not good. Uh, I think these others are hundreds. I'm not sure. Agility 204. I can do it. I can do it. I've got um, other bits. Maybe a med suit as well. Oh, mind you, no, because this has got treatment on it as well, hasn't it? Yeah, this is the equivalent of a med suit, as well as all the XP on it. Um, need buffs. Yeah, we'll get rid of some of these. And buff bag. <coughs> oh, log an agent. If you've got the buffs handy, otherwise I'll have to bump log myself. Yeah, I could put in some of that other gear. That would be pretty nice, doing that. There's a mixture of 75s and whatnot that he had on him. I could ladder up, but... You know, midstream, that's kind of like... Ugh. Where are we on for treatment? Uh, I don't even really need SFA, but it would make a, make the rest of it very simple indeed. Uh, I can do the foot, I think. I can do the 75s fairly easy. That's 100 agility. Yeah, feline grace plus... Whichever bag I put them in. Smart backpack. I have... Yeah, I'll just use these. That should do it. Take the skulls off. Mm. 
I've nearly filled a bag full of crap already. That's agility is now 219. Okay. Now that one's strength. I think that one's stamina. Which one was agility? Was it the eye? Nope, that's the old one. Here, agility, psycho modern concealment. What the hell? I'll go with whatever the hell I had on this guy. Okay, right arm is out. Uh, strength, okay, so we need to swap in. That for the other one. Ooh, a little low. Big man, hit me with um, Behemoth while you're there. Does you have Behemoth? Surely you has Behemoth. Oh, B.E. Cool down. <laughs> With all the other buffs, yeah. That should do me, I think. Stamina 202. What did it need? I think it was more than that. No, oh, it's in. Left arm was a 30. Uh, strength, straight in. Okay, now do the chest. Ah, damn you. Okay, we'll do the others, come back to the chest. Okay, one right. Oh, that's the agility one. Switch in. Um, that's the 30. That's the big one. Okay, that's in. Right hand. Agility again. Straight in. Left hand. No idea. That's a lobby one, but it's on. Okay, leg. What did I have in here? That's a stamina one. Do I lose stamina with that? No. Okay. So switch for that. Okay, now we're over the odds again. 204, where am I? Ah, 202. Uh, what else have I got handy? Without messing them out. Have you got prod? Or IC? Give me, give me some IC, baby. Yeah, pillows would do it, yeah. You get 20 just for these and they require no skill to put on. They're just super convenient. NCU for prod. I'll, I'll lose the teachings. Right, okay. So. What am I doing? Right, that's the leg. Can I get the chest now? Yay! Right, I think that's all the high quality... Oh no, waste. Okay, that'll do till I get a vitality. Where does that leave my weapons? Four... Fourteen, so I could almost get that on. Let's have a look. Brawling, the specials are going to trip me up, aren't they? I got those two, okay. Just thinking ahead now. So that was the lowest of the TIGs I had. So Dimash, I think I got. No, 105. I'm gonna chew up some IP. Uh, we've got that fast attack, 261. We're okay there. Okay there. Um. And then multi on the lower one is 503. Eep. Nope, not going to get it on anytime quick. But I could put it on with a howlet. Uh, if I get a wrangle, I should have enough space for... Not quite a wrangle. Have I still got an NCU buff? I do. Let's lose a couple of these. SFA for one. And the hot. Yeah, that's enough room for a wrangle. There's a vulpu near me. 
I see a Vulpu. The original. <laughs> Will 87 do it? Not quite. No. I think I need the uh, 131. Probably. I had the other skulls as well, which is a little better. The Clyde! Welcome to the stream, how you doing? Skull of Lamentation. I can put that on one hand. Nearly. Oh, I haven't buffed myself. I'm a no, not very clever. No. Yourself, you divvy. 468. Okay, so the 87 would do it, yeah. No, it wouldn't. Is that five, 521? No, it's just short. You're making me want to play the actual game instead of work on videos. Well, it's up to you, my dude. You've got to, you've got to have fun with what you're doing. <laughs> someone, else gave, someone gave me a third Mortig beta, didn't they? What the hell did I do with it? Uh, you are... Oh, there it is. So that one's 536. What's the... Skull of Lamentation? That's a howling. Skull of Lamentation in the offhand. I've got the multi melee for that. So that can go in left hand. Why not? Why are you not going? What am I missing for this? Why? What? Fast attack 201, blunt 417. And I've got 509. Oh, does it have to go in the right hand? All oh, right. Bloody thing. Um, and then I'm not quite there on that, but have these got... That's got one hand edge. That's two hand blunt. None on there. Did I do this before? Some other way. Possibly. What wrangle is that? I've got 509 now. So, yeah, just a small wrangle will do it. As, as we got wrangleage. Six forty. Six bloody forty. Fast attack. I'm just coming up short on the specials for that. Is it fast attack 291? No, oh, denied. I'll go with that one, though. Dimash is 108 for that one. Denied. Okay, I can do that one. That's at least one TIG on for now. Yeah, just levelling is going to be the thing, isn't it? Have to be title level 3 to use this. Yes, I know. Uh, for the other one, I'm sure on, like, fast attack and dimash. There's no buff for dimash, is there? Uh, and also multi, I think. What's the multi on that one? 503, yeah, I'm way off on multi. Even like even barbecue pillows and all that is like, nah. <laughs> Do they? Do MAs have a dimash buff? Is it not self only? I'm not sure, I, I get the feeling it's self only. Hmm. Spodio, are you taking this one? Yeah, it's let's build 12 and it is going to 220. 45 dual TIG in 2005 or 6 took three months of resets. Oh, good God, yeah. That's a thought. Uh, ambidextrous probably wouldn't be enough anyway. 80 for that. 30, but we get counterweight. 55. 
Yeah, so I'd only be able to get 10, 20, 30, 35. Yeah, 35 I could add to it and way off. If you look, I'd have to make special implants and stuff. I'm only at 216, so it's nowhere near the 500. It was so worth it with the resets, yeah. <laughs> As they were back then. Right, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to give myself the HP buff instead, or is that is BMOF better? That's 966, and... Thrall is only 500. Mm. Kind of, uh, kind of beating it there, but that's um, I've just gone from quality thirty implants to quality hundred and seventy fives, so slightly better. Thank you very much. I these big, scary people all around me. Um, okay, let's buff back up. My IR's rather good. But I think that's the wrangle still running there. Thug's delight. Sabic was pleased I'd made this because she said, well, you can continually buff me with Thug's delight on my dock. <laughs> Better running. Thug's delight. Brutal Thug. Oh, I haven't got Brutal Thug yet. I had Headcracker. I don't think I can cast Brutal Thug. Um, the video hang on there you go everyone big man's video which one's this one is it going to get me copyright strike with music enforce a tournament yeah last time I did this I uploaded the video and YouTube immediately went copyright claim from blah 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 and I was like oh for fuck <laughs> okay, so what shall we go poke sticks at? Yeah, they got nuked. Well, it didn't get nuked, it just got um there's a copyright claim there claiming all any and all money of your 5-hour stream for the 30 seconds of their music that appears on it. So I told it to delete that section of the video and re-render it and it did no one is not buying your music because they're watching a five hour stream VOD on YouTube get real seriously Eli Tiggs um, we're gonna that's power leveling though isn't it Temple of the Three Winds again okay yeah I want to try uh, and see what soloing in there is like now. Probably a little bit nuts. Having the webcam on. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not actually swearing. I'm just going... <laughs> it does annoy me when, when people do that. It was a manual one as well. They, it was like they looked for it. It's like, oh, really, really, really... I mean, if I did that, I'd have to... Everyone that's covered a Anarchy Online, other than me, uh, like, the, you know, like, the big YouTubers, like, one guy, he's got, like, 600,000 subscribers, and he he took about 30 clips of my videos to make his video about Anarchy Online. I didn't copyright strike him. I was like, no, no, you're promoting the game with 600 and something subscribers. We're cool. We're cool, dude. And his attitude was like, whatever. At which point I thought, I should copyright strike him for that attitude. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It was when they were doing the 2019 thing. Um, the guy, and I mean, I can understand why. Andy, Andy B gave him some free game time and all that. He said, oh no, I'll, I'm going to put you in the description. I don't know if he ever did. Probably not. Why are they so intent on killing this one mob? <laughs> Maybe they're after a book? Well, no, I mean, if you think of it from Andy's point of view, he was looking for someone with some reach. And that, you know, if you've got 600,000 subscribers versus little old me with 3,000, 
you're going to go with the guy with all the, you know, with the clout. That's how it works, and I'm cool with that. Um, but the fact that he, instead of making his own video, he just used a ton of clips from mine, I can't even remember. I don't, honestly, it, it doesn't live in my head for free. It just makes me laugh that, you know, I can be like, yeah, no, it's cool, about him using, like, virtually half the images on his video are from my videos. Which, it's going to happen. He's going to he's gonna go on YouTube looking for clips rather than trying to record them for himself because that's going to save him oodles of time, yeah? That, that's fair enough. And then he finds someone with as many videos as I've got, YouTube's going to just keep serving them up to him. And I'm cool with that. And him using them, I'm totally cool with that. It was just the whole, uh, you know... I saw him on stream as well. He was doing, like, game time giveaway or something, which is cool because he's, you know, a big YouTuber. I want to let big YouTubers use my cinematic clips of the game for their shiz. They might. They might, they might just grab it and not bother telling you about it. I want to kill the big guy. But I don't think I could. Well, maybe. I need my proc running as well. I do want the, um, the doorkeeper if he's up. Take down the ads. With my lowly startup Mongo. At least now I actually hit hard. I need to hot I need a second bar and start putting those on. Oh yeah, I think we're hitting a bit harder now. <laughs> Just a bit. Yeah, quite a lot harder. About five times harder. Yeah, I don't mind if someone uses my shizzle, as long as they, you know, bother to say, oh, video content. There was so much of it, and there was a load from uh, Sharp Tony as well. They used a bunch of his, and a few I didn't recognise, but I guess, you know, maybe 10% of his footage was stuff he'd actually recorded in-game himself. Keeper's Vitality drops first kill. We'll donate Grace for your tomb dressing. <laughs> Don't be silly. The a ring. Nacht watch. The night watch. Everything is dead. <laughs> he just dodged the bullet there. There's no way I can take the boss. Not solo. But I did want to try some of the bigger things in here, like... Um, what are you killing, by the way? <laughs> Someone's killing something. To bring your keeper. You don't need to, you know. I just want to see how the tune is now. I've just done a load of upgrading, really. Um, you know. Come closer, I want to brawl you. Oh god, yeah. Compared to before. Doing rather more damage. <laughs> and now I'm rooted. Exarch robe or what have you. Stick around. Rage the root away. <laughs> Oof. That might be a good plan. And just snagged Azzy. Or, you know, Azzy's placeholder. We done. Run away. Yep. I'm guessing people are waiting for a respawn on this guy. He's only about 10 minutes, isn't he? Thereabouts. I, I don't know. I've never really camped him, so. 
there you go level 45 tune with quality 100 implants in for the most part it's not it's not massive twinking at all that's nothing in this game trust me um you know level six that can wipe everything out in here bar the, the main boss that's twinking what what scott did with his little enforcer that's twinking not all i did is just gear the tune and i talked to people on discord they're going well what do I need? I said, well, you should be using something around this quality if you can afford it. And they go, oh, no, I don't want to twink that hard. I'm like, I'm not even clean. It's not a thing. <laughs> I hope Scott does, but I, I can kind of understand maybe, you know, the being disheartened by, you know, kind of losing all his tunes, etc. There you go. Light. Light! Reminds me of the fifth element. There you go. Ruby car light in here is definitely quite a bit brighter. You should make a laddering implant video. Oh, it's a lot of work. They've just got like regular damage, I think. They look like regular li -li 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 geared tunes. I think he's got. Oh, you've got one hand edge. They're quite nice, actually, the frozen tears. They're not bad. Oh, and he's been in there. Look, he's got gamma clearance. And... Oh, yeah, he's, he's pretty well decked out, actually. He's got better implants than me at a lower level. So there you go. I'm intimidating by laddering 200 imps. Uh, you probably wouldn't get all of them 200. You'd get, you'd get a few in at 200, though. I mean, you wouldn't get all, because some of them would be your laddering ones, but you would get a few in, definitely. You'd get the arms in, I think. Clamour one. <laughs> Yay, I can. <laughs> I just want to see if I can kill this mob, but I, I just get the feeling like I'm not going to get the chance to see if I can solo it, because everyone else is going to have a pop at him. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Robo Arts. 200 imps on a 60 is doable, but you need every twinking item in the world. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a hot NAR RFE? I don't have RRFE. I do have a hot, though. And a bunch of outside buffs. So, yeah, I should be all right. Volpe, thinking about logging a level 13 emp and troll them for a bit. Have you got, like, a mega twink? A little lobby super twink? I always get the urge to make one, but then I just go, yeah, but I can just level and put that on. <laughs> in like 10 minutes it's easier but it's not it's not the same thing so yeah never ending beam of light on the back yeah let's uh, control center Second hot bar already. Did I have another perk to spend? I think I spent it. Where did I spend it? I think it's... I think the other guy's fairly well twinked, so we probably keep hold of it. I don't have my proc running. Damn. Oh, 
I think this team is going to out damage me if we want the truth. Yeah, I think they got it. Oh no, we got it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need anything from it. I'm a level 24 doc with Nelebs, thought I was doing really well. You are, because Nelebs is locked at 41. What do you mean the weapon? I can't get into your zone. What am I in? GS1. I'll come out, I'm not asked. Have some tune in GS3 if you want more privacy. I don't mind. I like seeing other people around. It's uh, it's kind of nice in a way because you know when you go to places and there's absolutely nobody there, it's like it just doesn't feel alive. But when you got other people to compete with and and whatnot, I don't know. I just prefer it. It just feels a little more lively or something. It is fair, it's busy enough to spawn, I can't remember, day one on well, the first week of 2019. You were getting like GS12 and 20 and God knows, you know. Alright, let's, let's try going in again. <coughs> I think I've got a different one. Box of bunnies that are in here. Who, where are you? Yeah, we're in GS2 now. There you go. <clears throat> <coughs> Who do we want to go kill then? Does this guy look clan enough? <laughs> is he Omni, is he? <laughs> oh, he is clan. Okay. He's just wearing all the Omni marked items you can find, are you? Araxia! Welcome to the stream. Right. I think I can solo that dude. Soto Mahoney, reminder, friends, Green Cloak's meeting is tomorrow at 6 UTC in the fireplace room at Reet's Retreat. Yes, I think I'll be going. I think, where are we on time? UTC for that. I should be able to make it. Right, let's get rid of the ads. Eternal Guardian, you may die. And then we'll pull the big guy and try and solo him. Clark. Jordan, you made a new tune. I did. This is for Let's Build a Tune Season 12. How did you bring so many more ads than me? <laughs> I just want to see if I can solo Got. I think I can. Right, just let me solo him. Let me solo him. Whoa, Soto Mahoney and the gifted subs. Soto Mahoney is gifting five tier one subs to Kalos 2's community. Uh, to Brendan CSW, to two out of four, to The Clyde, to Eridonis, and Angel Outside. Well, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Don't forget to thank Soto Mahoney for them. That's super cool here. Thank you very much, my dude. Omnitech is your friend. No, you're my friend. <laughs> I'm not sure about Omnitech. Are you just standing there clapping me, killing? 
and a mongo. I shall do a, a small mongo. Did I remember my proc? No. I need to make a hotkey for that whole bar and stick all those attacks on it. Mind if I come with, if you end up going to the foreman's, I probably will go to the foreman's on this too next week. I need to record an episode in here for YouTube, otherwise I'll get shouted at by lots of people. Um, I think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to make it. <laughs> I might die. Bio shield, Dimash. That's close. I think I'll be all right. No helping, no helping. I want to see if I can do it. Yay! <laughs> Got him. Bloody close though. Yeah, it is one of those places. There's so much that's different in here that's. Um, that's cool. Kneecapping one complete. What did I get for that? A bit more brawl. Okay, next one. Is the doorkeeper there? Let's go see, because this guy's a lot easier. Right, take all the ads first. Hits you with machine gun sounds, yeah. Kind of he kinda of needs to though, doesn't he really? Right, fixed keys, bar, two, one, it's now a G. Right. I want to solo you, give me your essence of Keeper's Vitality or whatever the hell it's called. And I need to remember to buy some better first aids, because these are literally the quality ones you get from a re <laughs> startup med kits yay maybe a shooting knives yes i forgot to throw my shield up anyway that'll probably be half of why it took so much damage there let's have a look Come on, get lucky. Denied. Okay. <laughs> That's nuts. Does anyone not know where the green cloaks are meeting? Does anyone not know? anyone not know? Everyone knows exactly where the green room is then. Yes? No? Maybe? We don't know? I don't know, Carl, but I sure am interested in finding out. Well, that's good then, because then I can show you, he said, acting terribly. What's the green room? It's the room of roleplay. <laughs> It's the e one of the easiest to get to places in Rubicar. Uh, I will I will show you, Soto Mahoney, where the green room is and everyone else on the stream so they can all see where the green room is because obviously Soto Mahoney doesn't know where it is. He lives there. Um, Well, I call it the green room because on the old engine it's very green in there. On the new engine it's a little different. A green room, yeah, so you could do um, green screening and all that, yeah. You can do that in Premiere, but I've never, never really bothered with it. You can do it in OBS as well, but I've got a cool background. So why would I? Someone asked me if it was a real background. Oh. Last week, and I ended up pulling the guitar up and just playing it. Is that a reel or is that a background? I went. I think you find it's real. Yep, 
Yes, it's a real background. Right, so if you're in IECC, move my chair now. I'm off my spot. Right. So if you come to ICC and take a Wampa to Newland City. I made a very questionable AO music video. So now you're in Newland, you can come here if you're Neutral Clan or Omni. And then come around to Borealis. Played guitar and sang and then made the video hidden. <laughs> and then you go to Stret West Bank. Like so. Then you run across to the big hotel in the middle. Want me to warp you to the end of Steps of Madness for a Nileb's cloak and stick? Could do. You run up here past the interesting shopkeepers and enter through the little door at the bottom. You don't even need a yarn to enter. You come in, swing a left, and here we are. I call it green. On the old engine it is very green in here because the chairs are green leather and all the walls are green, but it's a little red in here on the new engine. This is the room. So this is where there'll be a discussion about roleplay events and such like and all that kind of stuff. And there's a cosy fireplace where you can warm the cockles of your backside. Yeah, you need a very even green to use green screen. That's the problem with it. Even when you throw one up, you've got to light it really evenly. Otherwise it fails. So does everyone now know where the green room is? Is there some, somebody here called Less Than 13? No idea who this could be. Slow down my only secret agent. Um, but yes, he looks very Omnitech. He's the Omnitech coffee boy. Because look, he's got the... and the coffee. You know, just, just saying. <laughs> Join the clans. Hey, fight for freedom. <laughs> Yeah, in Premiere Pro it actually has the, whatever the proper name for it is, but I've never really used it. But you, yeah, you can. You can do it. So, very easy to get here. He looks like a neutral spy. Yes, could be. My computer takes 30 mins for 20 seconds of video. 30 mins? Oh, to render it. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> you think, make sure when you're capturing, you're on partial, not full colour space. You use full colour space for H.264. Your files are enormous and you don't see the benefit by the time they go to media, like YouTube or Twitch or whatever. So if you're recording with um, OBS, is it OBS you're recording with? I'll show you now. Um... No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Right, so here's OBS. Go to settings, um, go to video. I know it's advanced here, isn't it? Yeah, color range. Make sure that is not on full, but is on partial. You were using fraps. Oh, for God's sake, get rid of fraps. Dog shit. Records in AVI as well which is not a good format. Um, yeah, don't use fraps, it's trash now. It's so out of date, it's just, yeah, use OBS. <laughs> it's 2000, I have used it in the past, don't get me wrong, but compared to something like OBS, you've been rendering all your videos in AVI. Oh my God. Um, the only reason to use AVI anymore is if you need a something transparent from uh, what a, yeah, get OBS, it's free, it's a hundred times more powerful um, 
than Fraps ever was, and it uses H.264. You see, you're recording to put it on to a streaming platform which is using H.264. So, recording in AVI requires massive conversion. Yes, AVI will give you the absolute best looking recording, but it's basically like a PNG for every frame. And you do not need that. <laughs> Use OBS for your PNG stuff. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's really good. Red, yeah, well, hang on. YouTube themselves tell you exactly what formats to use. And you'll find they're all MP4 H.264. There you go. They haven't changed the advice on that much in the last, I don't know. Are you going to you're going to warp me, are you? Go on then. For the lols. Um yeah. Use OBS. I'm recording partial. So the video from today is now long. The entire size of all the captured video, right, all of it, and there's nearly three hours of it, is uh, 12 gigabytes. <laughs> you should not be using Fraps. I wish it would just go away and die. It's awful. It's so out of date and... Um, there's, I mean, the only AVI file I've got on my computer now is some old DivX video stuff from years ago. Yeah, when you render for YouTube, you're rendering H.264. I record with the AIM Xbox Game Bar. <laughs> Yeah, you record in MP4 as well. There's, for AO and video games, there is... I mean, you'd be better off using Shadowplay. And that those files are tiny, but um, look amazingly smooth when they're done. Yeah, don't. Just... just big man. OBS. OBS, my dude. I mean, what you're telling me there is saying, well, yeah, I'm, I'm building a car and I'm just having a trouble getting all 50 horses under the bonnet. Like literal horses. <laughs> use, use OBS and hit me up on Discord and I will give you the exact settings you can set it to for 4K, 1440p, whatever, and it will look... The, like the absolute dog's danglies. Serious. And your files will be massively smaller, much faster for editing. Um, you, you Honestly, once you set up with it, you'll, you'll never even look at Fraps ever again. In 4K, I can render out to 8K if I want with Premiere. 8, 8K HDR if I want, but I can't, because I can't capture that. Yeah, there's no Premiere. I've got Premiere, uh, what well, used to be Premiere Pro, and then I went on the sub thing for a bit and then cancelled the sub and found a way to stop it trying to stop me using it. Um, probably going to crash the game now, but. Um, right, so. Can it see it? Doesn't want to see it. Why you no look at that? Is it putting one on the other? Ah, that's why. There you go. So here's Premiere Pro. Think I just crashed my game or I got warped. I got warped. So if I just change the window to single monitor editing, there you go gonna run like mega slow now okay so there's all the edits I make in the video for the last episode 
Yeah. And if I want to export, I just go File, Export Media. I've got a, like a homemade one. You can see there, I can just go uh, YouTube 4K. There you go. And it tells me it'll be 17 gig. As simple as that. I had to make a custom one for the one I got, but there's there's my doing the intro coughed so I cut that out and I've got one AVI which is a transparent AVI of the credits you know this this text animated text which I created in um, uh, the other one but yeah battle rod alternative uh, belt alternative memory I'll take the cloak as well. God damn it. <laughs> Are these memories better? What do they do? They're lower, but they do give max health. That's pretty nice. After Effects, yeah. I made the logo thing in After Effects. And I just got a template. Start looting and pass me lead. There you go. Lid, please. Yeah. Get OBS, eventually get Premiere Pro. I mean, you could probably download a dodgy copy, but I never told you to do that. Um, so, you know. <laughs> Omnipol senses tingling. Yeah, you should not pirate software. Very bad a thing to do. It's a crime and you shouldn't do it. You know, but if you can find, like, a student license or, you know, one of those things. Guardian of Thought. Or oh, 59. I doubt I could handle one. Dave, three of five, edited the last video for my work on open shot. Oh my god, that's terrible. It's not a crime to get stuff from the rich, it's a crime to steal it from the poor. Well... <laughs> Right, so let's have a look at this this Nileb's Stick of Doom. Um, two hand blunt and fast attack. So it's when it, that's upgraded, is it? Stand on my fixer. Where is your fixer? The leap. I can't see him. I can hear him, I can't see him. All right, now I see him. Okay, I'm stood on your fixer. I have to farm the upgrade. Oh. Don't I? Is it no drop or can I? In turn ops, get Vulpu out of here. Sirens are going off. Doom, 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 doom. The long arm of the law. Not the Stallone one, that's rubbish. What? Watch the other dread movie. It's way better. The only the main problem with the um, the dread movie they made with uh, Stallone is they tried to cram about ten years worth of storylines into one movie and it didn't work. And then they brought broke the cardinal rule of Stallone taking the helmet off, because dread never takes the helmet off. Yeah, Final Cut apparently is really, really good, but I have never, ever used it, so I can't tell you either way. It drains Nano off mobs and gives it back to you. Yeah, I, I've heard that. I've never used one on anything, though. I kind of like the busyness of, you know, pew, pew, with, with, um, with your hands and all the rest of it. 
The original has Diane Lane Doe. I can't think who she is, so I'm going to copy paste. I'm going to do a quick googly search. Oh, I know who you mean. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I mean, she's supposed to be Superman's mum, isn't she now? In the new movies, but I I still see her looking her age now and go, oh yeah, um, <laughs> she's closer to my age anyway. Yeah, she is gorgeous. Yeah, really good looking woman. The multi melee things, yeah, they do a bit. It always has been the case, though, multi melee is, you know, two weapons are better than one weapon by about 30% ish, and it's a lot of work to do it. But multi melee doesn't OE, so the, there is that. Fun fact, Steps of Madness is in Omni Forest because it's madness to think a clanner wouldn't join Omnitech. What? Where? <coughs> Addison Fixer. Ho, ho, ho. Well, yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, I know what you mean about the multi melee thing. I didn't. I mean, I ended up with the same hammers that Sabak uses on her dock on my Enforcer. He was two hand edge. Thank you, Atism Fixer, for Hydrate 100. Ugh. Yeah, that is better. Um, yeah, because. Um, I think it was after I made a keeper, they were both two-hand edge. And it was kind of like, this feels so same-ish, and yet I'm having to play them very differently. So I thought that was a mob making that gurgle, <laughs> gar gargling, gargling sound. <coughs> no, it just helps your throat when you're talking. When you talk non-stop for nearly four hours, um, yeah, your throat starts to go a bit. Gets a little dry, etc., you know. And if you're, if you're thinking, oh, last time we went out with the lads, we were screaming and shouting all night over the noise, and we were fine. Yeah, we were drinking beer, or whatever. <clears throat> and doing it for your voice acting. Best thing I can tell you for that is to... Experiment with your voice. So have a microphone and headphones so you hear what other people hear, not what's in your head. Um, and then practice moving the focus of your voice to different parts of your head and chest. You'd be surprised how much you can, uh, what range you can get. That's what singers do, essentially. There's some very nice items for multi melee, but yeah, it is hard. You need perks and things as well. Used to do karaoke a lot and go, well you, you, well, you know what you're doing with your voice then. If you want a, a thin, high voice, you put it up behind your nose like you do for your high, your high voice. I don't listen to the voices in my head. They tell me to join Omnitech. Yeah, my natural resting speaking voice is very bassy, so it's, you know, just is what it is. Probably more so in the mornings, I find. It's when I like to record my videos, because I have that... <coughs> like, re relaxed, heavier tone.
Yeah. You can get back to I can get back to that voice if um, I drink alcohol. But I don't drink al- alcohol on a stream. Just in case I say or do something very very silly, which is exactly the kind of thing I do. So I I add this to the Leb's battle rod. And I get Nareb's Nightmare Battle Rod, which doesn't have Brawl and Dimash, but it hits really hard. 75 to 330 versus my best weapon, which is 55 to 300. Yeah, it's quite a bit better, isn't it? But we'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> me, and, me and Soto are um, always taking the Michael when it comes to side, but we do it in a role play kind of way more than anything else because we actually quite like each other and I find that with most Omni players is <laughs> exactly like me and my friends they just you know they went Omni when they started the game and I went Clan when I started the game both love the game both have a lot in common um, you know and you generally find that with most people is you've got more in common than you don't so you know <clears throat> Yeah, me and me and Soto Mahoney are always like in Discord. We say things to each other, um, and it's it, we're just we're just having fun. Like we're we're, we're sort of role playing, but also sort of kind of jousting with each other a little bit. And then I see some people get, like comment and like they're really taking it seriously. Like, oh, by the way, disclaimer: might actually be friends with Soto Mahoney, and we're just messing, you know, because <laughs> it's like. It's okay, mum and dad aren't really fighting. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, some people do. They take it way seriously. This thing's going to kill someone. I could kill one of these on my own. There's just no need. Um, are we, I think we're done here. I've got the Naleb. I've got the um, thing. I can't upgrade... I mean... What's the requirement on that cloak anyway? It's quite high, isn't it? Yeah, you need like 230 in all your nano skills to begin with before you even gain the difference. Uh, shilling for Omnitech is kind of a part-time job for me in real life. If they found each other in a bar and started jawing about towers and meeping and hugging Wampa, they'd be the only two getting their asses kicked and then they'd be getting them kicked together. <laughs> I do not take it seriously. I used to enjoy uh, Tower Wars and stuff back in the day, but when people started stacking items on tunes, bringing boxes into it, I just went, done, you're cheating, I'm done. You know, it's like you're on a PvP server in, God, going all the way back to Unreal Tournament and someone's got an aimbot. You just go, done. We are done. That's it. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> you know, that, that's that's my take on it. And when I see it happening in AO, I, it, the only thing is it's it doesn't anger me. There's no anger to feel over someone cheating because they're just cheating themselves, you know. The thing that, that only ever bothers me about it is I think it, their behaviour causes people to leave. That bothers me. And I think Funcom should do something about it, but they won't. There you go. Oh, we spent, you know... Uh, three evenings worth of battles to get these tower fields, etc. You know, ah, victory, you know, feeling good about it. And then someone who's cheating just comes along and blows the control tower in 30 seconds flat without taking even taking out the field. I'm done. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see it. Da da da, attacked. 30 seconds later, victory. Wait, what? 20% XP. 20%. 20. 20. Why would I give a rat's ass 
about 20% when I'm running around right now with 158. You watching? There's 158. And that's now 208. <laughs> it's like, why do I care? You know. Now we've popped the can. God knows when that ran out. So now I pop the can. Let's go and have another look. XP bonus. There you go. 208%. Why do I care about 20? I have 10 times that right now. You know, so how do I have that much? I have luxurious armor set, which is 5% per piece of armor. I have two XP rings, which is 7% per ring, and then a nano can, which you can buy a thousand of for a couple of mil, uh, which give 50. It just, it just don't matter. <laughs> you could get 35 from, um, you know, the foreman's place. Are we going soon, guys? Because um, I has friends here. And the people doing it don't care about the XP either. I has problems. And I has rooted. And I am refusing to die. And I can't mongo. I think I've been debuffed as well. The back piece is another 5%. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40% just from that. So that's, that's why, you know, we're just leveling like nuts. Because I put my hand in my pocket and went, oh, I'll, I'll get the, the offer. Well, you get this and a bunch of other nano cans, you know. And I got this M4 2-2030 with alphas and I'm working on endgame stuff without a single tower or contract. Sure, I'm you know, the last time I used a tower to do anything was like six years ago. <laughs> I just don't care. You don't need them. The game has, has had like another 18 years of tweaks and items and bits and bobs since we had towers that they're, you know, fraps basically I mean yeah you can get a multi a tower with multi range on it in a guild and, and guild contracts are kind of nice but then look at what you get from your org city contracts you know if if people didn't cheat in PvP I'd probably PvP but they do so I don't This is Mihalik going, no, you will be efficient and you will have these items and <laughs> there you go. Nileb's enhanced nano circuit robe, which I can't get on. Yeah, with the XP cans, they're, most of them are, are duped anyway, you know, but there's, I mean, they have to be, there's so many of them now, it's just it's ridiculous. If I want a tower field now, I buy it to twink up and then give it back. Yeah. Yeah, you could take your twinking further with towers and contracts. Yeah, of course you could. But they're like the icing on the cake kind of thing. You know, they're not the cake, so to speak. And it's coming up on nearly... <laughs> it's nearly 10 o'clock and I will be having to pick up Mrs. Kalos too. Who had to go in today because reasons. Even though this is typically her day off and we chill. There we go. <clears throat> in your opinion, clans should outsource all the mining to the clans. 
Yeah. Yeah, the XP default is a hundred. It says it says that when you click on it. Hang on. If I click back far enough, we'll get there. Yeah, so base one hundred, total two hundred and eight. Which is why the this and the Advi leveled so fast. Fun fun of fact. Notum is a regenerating source, meaning it should be near worthless. Well, you'd think. How much is a bottle of water? <laughs> All the water on the planet stays on the planet, pretty much. But yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah. It's like, it's like the Star Trek universe. There was no money because once they had replicators, you didn't need to buy anything. So money lost all its value. It's only found on Rubicar. It's a huge export. Ah, yes. That's the difference. Is it still exported? And if so, where to? Who is buying it? Equip and try and buy a Howlet. <laughs> Soul pays. Yeah, I know, but we, do they ever talk about the planets that it gets flown off to? All the hypercorps pay. Yeah. Right, let's have a look. Right, Londis said he was streaming. Hopefully he still is, and we can give him lot, good old Londis a bit of a leg up um, as he gets into streaming. Let's have a look. As he gets into streaming. Shut up, Twitch, I know I'm live. Londis is not live, apparently. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, that's a video. Oh, God. Anarchy Online. Well, there's me. And only me, apparently. Come on, Twitch, someone else must be. There was one, he's just finished, but that was German, so that's no good for half the people watching. But Londis himself... I was searching for Londis 1. There's me. Searching for Londis 1. Stop. Did I not bookmark Londis? I thought it was Londis One was his channel. No, no. Just because it's got Londis in the name doesn't mean it's the right one. 41 minutes ago. Ah, he must have stopped. He keeps trying to play me the video, which you can't raid the video, so... Londis... is live. Watch with three viewers now. Right. Okay, we got him. God almighty, Twitch makes it hard to find Londis. Must have words. Next stream is tomorrow, Saturday. Um, Target locked. Yep. Mature audiences, he means he might F and Jeff a tiny bit, but don't worry about it. Yeah, tomorrow uh, there's some role play occurring. There's also Hodor, and on top of that, Aliens. Um... So, yeah, come on, all aboard the raid train and go raid Londis. He's the guy that keeps typing, Sav, and coming on all the raids with us. Has now got the exact same microphone and everything as me, because um, he likes the way it sounds, and uh, has put in a load of effort. So we're going to go raid him and give him some follows, give him a bit of a encouragement, etc. I think that would be nice. So is that everyone that's coming? Come on. Come on, everybody, everybody join in. All go and say hi to Londis. Even if you only stay for 20 minutes, at least you were there, you know, and all the rest of it. It would be nice. You know, just say, it would be nice. Is that all of us? 25? Is, is that what we're going with? Right, okay. We're off to raid Londis. Enjoy, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow.
Okay. Bye for now.